hands. Jazz hands. Go. Jazz hands. Come on, Walter. You doing the jazz hands? Yeah. We are. You can't see me. Okay, there you go. Okay, Kevin's doing throwing up signs. Go ahead, Kevin. Jazz hands. <laughs> we are live. We are live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. This is the Who Moved My Freedom podcast with yours truly, Hank Strange, on hosting duties here. This is episode 99, dudes. 99. Oh, night. Tomorrow's the big one. Yeah, tomorrow's we we go into triple digits. I got a I got a special idea so, for tomorrow, but I'm not saying. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, make it a surprise. Okay, so I hope you guys have your big girl panties on tonight. We're gonna give away this beauteous Stag Ten 308 behind me. Uh, that Stag Arms, Brownells, WMD guns, UM Tactical, all have a part to play in this beautiful gun. We're gonna give it away to someone tonight. We're gonna announce that person here live on the air. Love. So there's that. Of course, right here on the top, because our friend Real Cujo gave us 20 bucks, and he says that 20 bucks is for ammo for the winner tonight. Oh, man, that, that, that's, that's, that's very uh, generous. Yeah, so whoever wins tonight, you are getting 20 bucks worth of ammo thanks to Real Cujo. So thank you very much, Real Cujo. Yay. Kudos to Real Cujo. Oh, you know it. That's a tongue twister. So, very nice. Um, you know, uh, Real Cujo is a huge supporter of what we do. So, I want to thank him. I am going to come back here and shout out everyone that's hanging out in the chat with us. Want to, we want to say what's up to everyone in here. Uh, Walter, what's up, man? What's Pardon? going on? How was your weekend? I know I was hanging out with you one of these days. I can't even uh, remember what day. Thursday, we had, uh, we had Thanksgiving here at the house. Me, my sons, and my wife. Very peaceful. Uh, the food was Ah, excellent. We, we cooked the turkey and it came out, you know, it's one of those deals. Sometimes you don't pay a lot of attention to it when you're cooking it. It came out freaking awesome. Oh, um, nice. We had a good meal. Um, we just hung out, you know, didn't do a whole lot. I, I was on the internet buying some stuff. Um, okay, very cool. Very and then cool. Friday was my anniversary as we, we, we as we, we celebrated with you a little something, yeah, something. We had, we had a fireside chat, you know, yeah. and, um, uh huh. Good day too. Just hung out with a significant other and um, didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Saturday, up at the hacienda with Mr. Hank Strange, busting some caps, making some yeah. uh, making some videos, getting ready for the shot show. Yeah, we did a couple of videos. I already edited one of those videos. So anyone who um, is a patron of ours on Patreon, we're Patreon slash Hank Strange. If you're a patron there, you're actually you can actually see that video right now. Yeah, you got right the now. It's up there. Backstage stuff of me. Uh, well, I won't say what I was doing because Patreon people are going to see it. No, this particular video I did is on the new KES stock that you guys have for the um, for the sick for the Scorpion for the CZ Scorpion. Yep. yep. Yeah. Um, speaking of Scorpion, I pulled the trigger on one of my own today. I ordered one today. So. Oh, you bought a Scorpion? Oh, nice. Yeah, but, uh, nice. Uh, but, uh, so that means sometime in the future I'll get my Scorpion back. Oh, you get it back. You get it back with that little engraving on the side. Yeah, that's all that. Yeah. That's, I'm patient. Uh, I can wait <laughs> for your trust, you know. Yeah, nice. I appreciate that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, make um, we're SBR and the crap out of that. Yeah. There you go. Maybe can in that thing eventually. Yeah. I, did you order the new? There's will, and we can talk about this later as well. Um, CZ, I guess you couldn't order it because they just announced it, but they're coming out with it integrally. Suppressed. Mm -hmm. Suppressed CZ Scorpion. You know, I think okay. someone on this panel has been saying integrally suppressed. Is the wave of the future. I don't know who is that guy. Who is that guy that's been saying that? Uh, profit strain. I, I know one of these guys is all about HK. Hey, to the profit. Yeah, yeah. to the profit. Yeah. HK guy. Oh. One of these guys thinks he's Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, um, and then on Sunday, yes, Sunday was a very nice day because I didn't have to do a whole lot of anything. I didn't want to. But I ended up having to look at my son's car, trying to figure out a problem with it. Couldn't figure it out. Which one? Which um, which son? Will Killer Keller Spencer. or oh, Spencer? The, the police car, Spencer. The uh, the power steering pump is making all kinds of noise. So I got. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, those things are usually tough as uh, tanks. Yeah, so. I usually don't have some problem with power steering pumps, but um, so I messed with that a little bit, and then um, I took the guns and cleaned them from Saturday, and put them away. And uh, that was it, pretty much. Oh, went out to breakfast with my um, my significant other and my son. So, oh, okay, very nice. That was actually brunch. It wasn't breakfast. So, yeah, yeah. Well, Geese, you had a tough day on Saturday, man. You had to drive a couple of hours to come to my house. 
Just and we did all the on. hanging out and all and barbecuing and whatever we did. And then you have to drive hours back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was cool. No worries. Yeah. So. All right. So let's let's check up on uh, KD, Kevin Dixie, see what he was up to this weekend. Uh, man, what's going zone, peoples? Uh, I did a lot of cooking. So that's what I did. You got a piece for the family or something, weren't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, 80, 80 pounds, 82 pounds of uh, meat. So we did you had, get those people out of your house yet, or are they still family members in your house right now? No, they left. Uh, they, oh. they, uh, now, I did have a few family members that didn't leave till Sunday. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, Thursday, so Thursday. Friday. They overstayed. They overstayed a little bit. <laughs> you know what? I got. I got. I just be got, careful now. I don't know which one of those people actually watched this. A couple of them, but uh, <laughs> it was it was fun. It was fun having having family around and joking. So I, I just cooked up the meat. My wife did a great job with um uh, making everything else besides the the turkey. So we had um see we had a bacon wrapped turkey, a bacon wrapped maple glazed turkey. Ooh. Oh my goodness. We That's had um. Uh, pineapple uh, with a pine a honey pineapple glazed turkey. That was a pretty big one. That was a twenty four pounder. Wow, um, big bird. We had uh, uh, just a salt and pepper fried chicken, infrared fried. We don't do the grease. Mm. Infrared fried chicken. Then we had a, um, a habanero um, fried turkey. Okay. And then we had the last smoked turkey was uh, just a light custom season. I do like a rub, twenty four pounder. So it was um. A lot, of, a lot of good taste. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a, like 11 and a half pound. For yeah, the there's a reason why people didn't leave. <laughs> Some of them were probably in comas. <laughs> it's like, eight, eight. And it was funny, too, because the turkeys got on the table. And um, uh, a lot of people just sit there and they use like the, the big serving dish that you put the birds on. Yeah. They just use that as a plate. They didn't even get a plate. <laughs> the meat later falling like oh, right off the plate. But it is. Uh, I like to see people enjoy. Uh, outside yeah. of that, man, gun stuff. I didn't really. Um, I didn't really do any gun stuff. We were gonna go to the range and uh, uh shoot on Sunday, and uh, we woke up and I was like, you know, flip flops and shorts just sounds like a better idea today, and just kind of hung out around the house. Or that was Saturday or Sunday, I think it was, and didn't didn't really do anything. I sat and I looked at some good gun deals. Um, uh, but as you know, as right as I got to saying, I'm going to go buy me something. Here comes my wife texting me with. Hey, are we getting getting him this for for Christmas? And like it ate up my budget. Oh yeah, because you know you got to start. This is like you have to now start buying Christmas presents. Yeah. But I, I didn't want to buy yeah. him. The boys got everything a child needs. Why why I got to buy him something? You know, I was I about to look at Kevin. Look at mm -hmm. this. This uh -huh. is some of that CCI twenty two ammo. That's red and blue. It's got green and red. You know, oh. it's polymer. Well, coat. This is what Walter's giving people for Christmas right here. I want some of this to give people. I do. Where'd you get the Where'd you get the the colorful tips from? That's from uh, Midway had it actually. I bought I actually I bought it from Cabela's, and it was like seventeen ninety nine shipped from Cabela's. Yeah, we talked about this. On, wasn't that CCI? Isn't yeah, that CCI? CCI? Yeah, the yeah. holiday pack. I happened to have a, a empty MF or Christmas clean, pack, Miss Clean container. Their double stack magazine yeah. type container. Yeah, that's our buddy Peter Palmer's company, MS Clean. Yep, and it fit three hundred rounds fit in it perfectly. I couldn't have been any. I did that video today. I think you all saw that. You know that little. So, thing. are we all getting um, MS Clean kits with uh, ammo in it? Is that it's is that mind. coming in my mail? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, 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 I'm not saying. Oh, okay, I'll oh. be happy. At the moment, I only have one of these these uh these containers. So. Um, oh, just then, just ship mine first. Uh, I happened to. <laughs> I happened to. Um, I was one of the people that helped Peter out when he was doing his um, his money raising thing for his second for this generation of it. Mm -hmm. so I got another level one. I, I don't know. You slow down a little bit there. I don't know if it's multi tool too, though. Yeah. Like Santa in time. Yeah, it's like you slow down a little bit there, Walter. I don't know if you want to no, say that again. You too on my end. So yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, we might. In, in case you guys don't notice, uh, I don't, I think it might be on my end. It might be on different ends. We're having a little bit of an internet thing going on right now, so we're gonna try to tough through it. Hopefully, we don't totally break the internet. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure what's going on or why it's slow. Down. Monday, man, people are still buying stuff. They're flowing. Oh, you know what? That's true, man. We might be part of that. Yeah, the internet is is being used up. Your bandwidth could be challenged sometimes. Yeah, the internet highways are, are occupied right now. Kevin, did you get to tell us all the stuff you did? 
now. Oh, uh, yeah, that was it. Then just chilled. I mean, I wasn't feeling too hot. They, I'm not even feeling too hot right now. So just trying to um, recuperate, rest, lay down, relax a little bit. But no, the weekend was great, man. It was just all about family. I didn't even want to do anything too stressful. Oh, I'm sorry. Saturday. Yes, I did do something very, very cool on Saturday or Sunday. No, Saturday. Saturday morning, um, you know, I do the I do my Aiming for the Truth event, which led to a lot of open doors. And one of them was the uh, political meeting with uh, the panel of anti-gunners that listened and set up meetings. And now they want to chit chat and put the programming in schools and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, more community events. And from that, uh, unfortunately, it took momentum plus what the idiot did in Texas. But it, it led to a, a group of Baptist uh, preachers bringing me into talk to them about safety of their building. So we went over a couple of, uh, you know, egress uh, strategies in the church. Um, they want to get their deacons and some of the pastors concealed carry. I had to educate them on state law about how they can carry in um, religious institutions. They want to do active shooter training. Uh, so it all started with me having a conversation. So I got to stand up like the preacher and talk to the, 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 to preach to the preachers. Yeah, I got to not preach. even the choir. When you preach to the preachers, that takes skills. Yeah, it took skills. Two hours. They sit there and listen to so I, I went at them for two hours. Uh, then they said I should have been a preacher because most people can't stand flat footed for two hours and talk. Um, can't but I went at that. Them. You should have been. But you are. Tell them you're preaching the church of the gun. I am. I'm <laughs> preaching the shooting gospel, baby. Uh, <laughs> but when we talked to them about it, and, you know, they, they really love my line because people often ask me um, when uh, Christians ask me, uh, you know, why do we need a gun? God protects us. And I'm like, hey, I pray for protection, too. A gun is not going to save you from everything, right? A gun can't save you from a heart attack, right? So I pray for protection, too. Uh, and I want trouble to stay out of my way. So I pray for it and pray for my family. And I always tell them, like, hey, the gun is for people that choose not to listen to God's voice. I am your physical consequence if you choose not to listen to his voice. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. And they understood that. So I'm like, all right, good. Well, you know, God created these tools and they're to be used, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. If need, if need be in a manner that we hope we never have to use them. Right. In a, in a polite way. Yes. In a polite way. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. OK, so listen, let's uh, let's jump in. We're going to come back. We have a ton of things to talk about. Um, let's get in here and shout out the folks who are in the chat right now. I want to remind everyone to click the thumbs ups. OK, uh, share this video with your family and friends on social media. We really need that. We really appreciate it. OK, so don't forget to do that. Please share 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 and share some more matter of fact i should probably take a picture and share it at some point here myself here let me take a let me take a picture of you guys what look i'll take a picture with the gun in the background okay now uh, all right there we go <laughs> <laughs> all right so yes please share this click the thumbs up really we really need those let me go through here and shout out everyone that's hanging up with us uh, hanging out with us chris b was number one today chris b what's going on rock humper is also in here um shut up and play your guitar as well the archangel shout out to the archangel uh nitro zoo 76 what's going on mark wagner in the building what's going on mark wagner yeah. um let's see who else is in here uh gorillas and guns is in here Guns. Yes, Gorillas and Guns, uh, Kentucky Firearms Network, LB Louis Cipher, also in here. Uh, 50 Stitches Steel. 50 Stitches as well. Yeah, 50 Stitches is in the building. Uh, Chris Bullis, what's going on, Chris Bullis? Um, let me see, let me see. Um, people are still talking about deals and stuff like that. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Did, did, uh, they, did you guys watch my video? Hank, I know you did. Walter, did you watch my video? Did you watch my comedy video? No, I, I didn't. Know, actually. I encourage everybody. Shame you on you, Walter. <laughs> I liked it, but I didn't necessarily watch it. You should watch it. I thought I watch it was pretty it. freaking funny. So yeah. hop over send, him a link, send him a link right now and then let him watch it while we're doing this. That's the way to go. Just send him that link, and then Walter can watch it, and we'll see. We'll see. Breaking like We'll see him laughing or doing whatever. Yeah. Um, let me see who else. Uh, so, uh, J A K Anthony or Jack Anthony, I guess. Redford Denton Schmidt. I think it's Brent Fordenton. Fordenton. Brent Fordenton. <laughs> Jake Anthony. Brent Fordenton. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for coming up with a name <laughs> that's not going to be easy to pronounce. Um, TKO593, what's up? 
Uh, let's see who else. Of course, I shouted out the real Cujo who gave us 20 bucks for ammo to the winner of the of the stag tents. When we announce that person, you will get you will also get some ammo. Uh, the Tyvin Show is also in here. What's up, Tyvin Show? Let me see who I'm missing out here. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm here. Okay, Vanessa Kitty, Highway Run 77, ta uh, Tango Hunter, John Gillian, E Rock, NRA Instructor Dennis. What's going on? Screaming Skull Saloon, Opt Out of Gun Control, Rick Day as well, uh, Recall Junkie 1981. Um, okay, Gorillas and Guns says he can't hear anything, but I'm assuming that there's audio. If anyone else has audio problems, let us know. I had my mic muted uh, off while I was... Yeah, yeah, Walter had his mic muted just now. Um, Gorillas and Guns says Walty Claws. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, let's now see. turn the mic back on. That's funny shit. I tell you what. Yeah, David A. says, good evening. we got Jake Barr, Richard Hughes, Meredith Mayhem, Mayhem, John Gillian. Um, so there you go. Yeah, Chris Bullis says he hears us. Recall Junkie says, audio's clean. 50 Stitches, Steel says, laugh out loud. Joe Carpenter in the building. What's up, Joe Carpenter? He's got a frowny face on. I don't know why. What is the reason of your frowny face, Joe Carpenter? Oh, Joe. Yeah, uh, Laird Cummings. Is Joe Carpenter, are you sick or something like that? E. Coco is also in here. Adam Casey. I carry my revolver in single action. Justin E. There's a whole bunch of people coming in right now. If I missed anyone, just let me know. Give me a shout out and I will say what's up to you. Don't forget to click the thumbs up, guys. We really need the thumbs ups. That's how we, that's the engine. That's our fuel, actually, that keeps us going. The thumbs up as well as sharing with family and friends and letting them know that we're doing all of this. Um... Donald D. Friend is in here. Michael Bermudez as well. Joe Carpenter says you. Uh, I carry my revolver in single action. Gives us the peace sign with the face with the sunglasses. How the hell are you guys? Well, I don't know. You guys are probably on your phones. Some people are on their phones, and they're able to do some really cool icons. I can't do that from this computer. 904 Outdoors is also in there. What's going on? Jackson Oldman is in here. He says he can hear. So it's so there you go. Um, uh, so John Gillian says this is the first time I can hear you you guys live, and he likes the gun porn. So we'll have a little bit of that. Um, Fifty Stitches Steel says like and share army. Why is this chat hiding that that he said army? I guess that no one wants the word army has been contrabanded by YouTube for some reason. <laughs> Oh, well. Cesar de la Sancha is also in here. So there you go. Vanessa Kitty says Gorn. Who's got the... Okay, looks like Walter's pulling up the Gorn. 1022. Break, uh, break down one. Take down. Take down 1022. Is that oh, new? Did you get this on a sale? No, I've had this for a while. Wait, is this the integrally suppressed one no, that we're looking at? No, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's, that's at the shop. That's not the... Yeah. That's not a breakdown. Though they do make a breakdown barrel set system for these yeah is this a regular barrel or a ball barrel this is a regular barrel okay regular stainless yeah all stainless yeah okay cool very nice right 1022 man yeah i, I had I, I bought it just so i'd have one for the library i haven't yeah. shot it too much though i can just shoot it some more yeah <laughs> 904 says it need, needs a binary trigger uh hells yeah <laughs> someone should make a binary trigger for the 1022 right walter Sure. What uh, the... um, John Gillian says, well, uh, yes, Walter, I love your gun porn. <laughs> uh, Warsaw Patriot said, no porn word in the chat. <laughs> I guess it's Gorn. Warsaw Patriot says, hey, heck. So shout out to Warsaw Patriot. Um, we all know what his favorite gun is, right? We all know what Warsaw Patriot's favorite gun. Should we start that again? Lola just got here and she told me, don't yeah. start that all over again. And Rick Day says 1022 is number one zombie gun. Hashtag don't don't at me. I don't know what that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Need a binary trigger for the Caesar Scorpion Evo three. 
Yeah, that's what um, opt out of gun control says, binary trigger. Let me see, binary trigger or can? I'm going can. Yeah. LB Louis Cypher says, don't be a Glockhead <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and then Warsaw Patriot said, no more bullshit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We won't, we won't go in at him today. Today's a different day. He doesn't want anyone, to, he doesn't want us to tell anyone about his deep, deep love of the high point. That's what it is. He doesn't want anyone to know. He doesn't want us to tell people how much he loves high points. Kevin, I did, I did see that video, you, that you, a picture you posted of that young man uh, pointing the high point. Out yeah, there. high point, earth off the reel or whatever it was. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm like, what the hell? That was so actually, is that the, the is that the thing you shared on Instagram? Was that? Yeah, that's what I put on Instagram. It was a, uh, it's a, uh, I'm a, I'm a making assumptions here, but we're definitely facts are we're sitting in a car. There are actually two kids about the same age in a car. I just cut out the piece with the one. Yeah. There are two kids in a car with a woman. I'm assuming his mom or auntie or something, because she's definitely 30s, you know, with two young kids that have to be, I don't know, eight, nine, no older than 10. 10 is being generous. Uh, and they're listening to whatever rap music. And that's not what I got a problem with. But as they're, she pulls out the gun first and she's like pointing the gun at the camera in the car and doing the lyrics. Then she passes it to the kid. What lyrics is she doing? What song? Just out of I curiosity, I know that it matters. No you can barely Wait. even hear the music. It was so horrible. The audio was horrible. But you can uh, tell about it by the tempo. Should I pull this video up on your Instagram? You should. It's it's pretty it's pretty interesting when you listen and I mean it's mannerisms. Oh wait, one second. I just went to my Instagram and I want to um, I just want to shout out someone for a second, guys. This this is totally not relative, but this is actually my boy was on the Price It's Right right there. So that's my oh, boy. That's cool. I just went to Instagram and my boy uh, Milk Gladden, who's a famous boxer and happens to be my friend. I don't know if you guys know, but he was a Marine and he was a boxer and he's in the Boxing Hall of Fame and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. you can see that's him right here. And then this is uh, Let's Make a Deal with, uh, I forgot this guy's name. Steve Harvey? No, what's the name? Oh, Wayne, Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady, sorry. <laughs> I had like a brain freeze there for a second. So there's my buddy. Milk Gladden and Wayne Brady on uh, that's totally irrelevant to what you were saying. I'm sorry. No, I no, apologize, course. Kevin. So feed yeah. might be a little I'll play it on mine because your feed still is a little question. No, my feed's coming in. Oh. Yeah, so here's the video for the guys who haven't seen it. Yeah, so this is not a real gun that this kid is holding up. It it's looks a, like it potentially could be an airsoft knockoff or whatever. I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. Looks like a high point. Yeah, it looks like a high point. I'm not sure if it's a knockoff. That front end, that front end looks just like it looks just like this front end. So this is the person who's responsible for him in this video. Yeah, that's the. And that's is he putting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his fingers on the trigger and all that. Yeah. So he is definitely um, being influenced by the wrong. Uh, and when you look at him now, here's the saddest part painful. of the video. There's one part in this video where the kid looks back. So they're sitting in the car. And some of the doors are open, and there's this elder guy. All right, I'm giving this guy mid fifties easy. He walks to the back of the car you can see him out the door and immediately the kid turns and like looks like oh my god i'm in trouble and the dude just smiles at him and he's like oh cool he smiles back and he proceeds to keep pointing the gun and rapping his little lyrics so i'm like at that moment when a man stepped in the picture that could have changed it he just he put a stamp of approval on everything leading forward All right so yeah i think yeah there's a you know that's pretty sad pretty stupid too yeah, there's some craziness going on in there, but you know, just bad parenting. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it probably on multiple levels, probably generationally bad parenting. Yeah, and I, and I, what I like to tell people is, you know, it, it, you won't see it on camera. Everything's not meant for camera, but a lot of the times when I'm going out and I'm trying to get my hands on kids or teenagers or young adults or families in general, a lot of that's what I'm fighting. A lot of that is exactly what I'm fighting. Are these parents that are or these influences that are like, um, it is what it is, and we gonna do what we do, and I'm steadily trying to like ignore them when I, when I once I realize they can't be helped and like get my hand on a kid, you know, to help them. But yeah, a lot of it is uh is sad. But these are the some of uh, these personalities are what I'm fighting like on a weekly basis. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we're we're all trying to uh, counteract that because, you know, she's setting that kid up to to. Um, for a very bad life in lots of different ways. I don't want to put anything on him, obviously, but you know, this is how, lo lots of things go wrong here, man. So, 
Yeah. And if he points that gun and plays around like that with the wrong person, um, police officer, or even, hey, even a, even a bad guy out there, that kid can wind up not existing on planet anymore. Dead. Yeah, so, you know, not a good thing. Uh, did you want to say something, Walter? No, I'm just listening. I just, you know, my son, my son, they're, they're in the chat, they're, they're talking about high points, and we've, we've threatened to make a full auto high point pistol. Just what? <laughs> <laughs> my son's like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you, got, um, what, what's, your high, what's your high point, a 45? The one I have? Yeah, it's 45, yeah. 45, yeah, that'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it probably self-destruct after a while. Uh, well, you should you should put a brace on it. Let's SBR that bad boy. <laughs> Let's spend hours of development. Yeah, let's put a lot. Let's just put lots of money into it for no reason. Yeah. If you burn it down, High Point will give you another one. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, I got enough hate That's for that. That's not guaranteed. I got enough uh, inner ordinance hate. Why not a little High Point hate? You know, it's all. Yeah, absolutely. Who was that that designed like the thirty-five hundred dollar High Point? What company was that? Uh, I don't know. Wasn't that a comp? Wasn't that um, someone that that does some kind of uh, customization? Yeah. Yeah, they they, $3, they, $3, yeah. Are you talking about the one where they put hundred dollar bills in it? Uh, no. This one was um they 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 actually made it like a like a competition gun. Like they really did this thing in. Yeah, they worked on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I didn't even see that one. So that. there you go. Uh, Michael Bermudez wants to know how you enter the Stag Ten giveaway. Okay, uh, Michael, I've got bad news for you. It's too late for that. Day late and a dollar short on yeah, that. We're giving we're giving this away tonight. So it's kind of too late. You know, but it's never too late because we do have other giveaways coming up, right, Walter? Something else brewing, you know. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do something. Walter's trying to figure out the details right now and how we're gonna do it. And I guarantee you that nothing we're gonna do is gonna make everyone happy, but we do have to and you know, one of the things I want to explain to people out there to get folks to give us the guns. Like in this case, we got Stag Arms to, to give us the uh, the um, the Stag 10 as a uh, bones or chassis stripped out version. Then we got Brownells to give us multiple other parts. And we got WMD guns to do this finish that you see here. And we got UM Tactical to give us this like muzzle device that you can actually tune you know, I'm going to go through all the different parts while we're doing this video, but to get companies to give these, they, you know, they just don't give it up for nothing. No. Yeah. So everyone has, every company has specific things that they require from us. So we're going to get Walter. We're going to sit down and talk with him. We are going to give away something through Safety Harbor Firearms. You just have to work out the details of that, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. We talked about it before and it, it, yeah. we can see what it is. We're going to give away a 50. So. Yeah, that's right. 50 cal. 50 cal. So. Yeah. You know, we just got to figure out how we're going to give it away and what you, how many, how many hoops you're going to have to jump through to, to do it. So yes, we're going to work out all those details and then we'll come back and talk about that. So it's being handsome, one of them. Then I want to enter. Oh well, if that's the case, you're guaranteed to never win. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you set yourself up for that one. I did. I did. Yeah. No, we're so we're gonna figure that all out, and we'll come back and talk to you guys. We, you know, we've got, a, but we are. So the next thing that we're gonna give away is gonna be a fifty cal yeah. complete rifle, right, Walter? Yes, sir. It'll be ready to go right out of the right out the box. Yep. Exactly. Well, so, you might have to get your own scope, and, unless we can find some, we can find a scope for it. Yeah. yeah um. You okay? You wanna? Are you, <laughs> are you are you gonna commit to adding a scope? I don't do scopes, but if you know, we can find some somebody. Uh, I don't know. See, I'm not giving away a scope with this because so, you know the scope that would go along with, with this. You don't have to get. Yeah, I would rather give the scope away separately. Okay. All right. To be honest with you, so that's the thing. Um. You know, you, I, I would say, Walter, at this point, that person's going to have to get their own scope and their own ammo. Oh, well, yeah, we ain't doing 50 yeah. gallons. No. Yeah, I mean, unless, like, real Cujo came along and pitched in, so yeah. whoever gets this gets a couple rounds. But $20, let me see, $20. Yeah, how much 308 can we buy with that? 308, you can get a couple boxes, but. Yeah, um, someone, someone figure that out on a Cyber Monday deal, how much 308 will go along with that, and, you know. We'll, we'll do that. So to answer your question, Michael Bermudez, uh, it's a little bit too late for this, but it's never too late. We have lots of things going on. So the thing to do is to stay tuned to us and, um, you know, we'll work something out. Yeah. 
Questions? So, okay, let's see. All right. Okay, you guys are breaking up a little bit here. Kevin, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Yeah, sir. that's Walter that's really breaking up. I couldn't hear you. There, you were, you were broken up on my end. I wouldn't yeah. say anything. So I don't know if someone's – we might have, like, like multiple internet issues going on here. Let me go see something. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, uh-oh. I'm going to see if somebody else is doing live stream. Someone in your, yeah, someone in your house might also be uh, – <laughs> Might be watching videos. Yeah, somebody, yeah, someone might be watching videos or something yeah. like that. So we're going to do that. Kevin, did you um, have something that you wanted to add here, something you want to talk about? Well, I'm going to come back and talk more about the details of this. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, no, I think – well, first of all, I think that that is an awesome, awesome, awesome giveaway. I really – Wish I could have entered myself, but I do the work for free, so you know it is what it is. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, you know, no. I mean, it is what it is. But that that is a. I hope people really can appreciate what's sitting there in your hand. Yeah. Person, maybe the person who wins this will let you shoot it. <laughs> they should. I hope. Yeah. I, hope geez, I hope that winds up at um at some range near me soon. Yeah. You know. So whoever wins this, come on, be nice. Nice. Let Kevin visit with it. You know. Hang out with it. He might listen. You're gonna have to tune this thing because I didn't tune it. So because it doesn't make sense, so you can personally tune it. So you know what? Let me take some. Um, let me take some time here and actually go down this, uh, like the details of this. How about that? Okay, do it. Let's do all the things here. So first of all, uh, here. Let me lock this on me here for a second. So first of all, the gun itself comes from Stag Arms. Do you see that right there? Do you see that stag inside of the camouflage? So the gun itself comes from stag arms. And it is the stag 10 bones, which that itself is valued, I think, at about 1,000. Huh? 1085, Lola says, 1085. Now, to be honest with you, stag arms had, do they still have all those deals going on? They have some good specials yeah. going on. Oh, my goodness, man. Stag arms. Like, the com they had a complete rifle for 1,000, like a th uh, the complete 308. Was so, what like sixteen, seventeen, something like that, seventeen hundred? They had that for nine something, right? Nine and a thousand. Yeah, like a, th yeah, like a thousand bucks. Then they had so, they had two twenty three gun left or right hand for like four forty five or something. Yeah, Stag Arms has some insane deals. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out the description because because uh, Lola says they still have deals going on. So Lola's somewhere here in the background and she's doing stuff. She's probably not helping. She's probably slowing down our internet with whatever she's up to. But yeah, so Stag Arms gave that, that that has a value of like around a thousand bucks right there, unless you could get it. I got a really good deal from them if they have something going on. So that was just the bones of the gun, which is basically just the upper, the lower, um, and the, the barrel, I believe. But it didn't have all the other stuff. It didn't have all the furniture and the, the um, charging handle, all those kinds of things. So most of the other things actually came from Brownells, who I believe still has deals going on. They've got deals going to, well, I think they've got a site. They're on Cyber Monday right now, right? Yeah. yeah. So Brownells is on Cyber Monday. Do we have a link in the description to Brownells stuff? Okay. So there you go. You guys can go check that out. Brownells provided this, um, what is this? Magpul? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what the, it's the UBR. <laughs> UBR AR-10, man. Yeah, so there you go. So this, you know, let me see how does this work. See, it's adjustable. You know, multi-position adjustable stock here. So I don't break everything up. They, they, Brownells came up with that. You've got a UA, uh, Law Tactical folder on this 308 as well. You know, now obviously you can't shoot this, or you shouldn't. I think you can actually put a round through this, but you're going to damage things in there, so it's not worth it. Um, you know, I think you have to change seals and things like that. But you can fold it down, put it in a smaller package, in a smaller bag. So it's got a, it's got the folder on it. Uh, Brownells came up with the, the whole grip that's on this. There's a two-stage trigger. Um, we've got videos on all these different things here. The, the, the handguard, which I believe is from Midwest Industries, all came from Brownells. Lots of other parts that are incorporated into this gun all came from Brownells. So that was a, a huge, huge help. As I said, the, um, the UM Tactical, uh, what is this thing called? Uh, this, I think it's the Rage, R-A-G-E. It's tunable? And, yeah, basically tunable, so you can tune it for how you want to shoot. So that's why if you look at this closely, you will see this is in different sections here. Let me see if it's going to focus. Yeah, 
probably have to come out. So you can actually take this and tune this for how you want to shoot, which is amazing. You know, I think conservatively, Kevin, like what would you estimate the value of this? And wait, let's not forget this. Hmm. WMD guns, Nibex the gun, um, the uh, bolt, ca bolt uh, the BCG inside of here, all Nibexed from uh, WMD guns, and they did this uh, camo pattern for us. Uh, so. Without without doubt, without question, on a nice day, you're looking at about easily, I would say about 32 sitting there in your hand, and that's just being yeah. modest. Yeah, that's just being conservative. So lots of money just went into this gun alone, and we're going to give it to one person tonight. So I know there's going to be some folks that are going to be disappointed. Lots of people, Lola and I, were like we look through all the different posts that we have on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, and all kinds of things. There's lots of people who um, participated in this. Now, there's some people, like what we wanted was for people to go out there every day and thank the companies. You didn't have to thank all of them at one time. You know, you can today you can thank Brownells, today you can thank WMD Guns, tomorrow you might thank Stag Arms, the next day you might thank UM Tactical or whatever. We told people you can do it on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. We told we told people they can call up the companies. We said that you can send a letter. And that did happen. Wow. You know. So those are the, all the things that we did. Now, there's some people that did things like once or twice or for a little while, but then didn't really keep doing it. But there was, really, there was a good number of folks who were doing this every day. And so one of those people is going to win this gun, and we're going to talk about that later on tonight. I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I can give you a clue. I saw the person who's going to win this gun in the chat. What? Uh oh. <laughs> I saw them in the chat. <laughs> oh no. So that's a reason to say. <laughs> yeah. So I just I just plugged in. Uh, I just, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make everyone stay in the chat, but you might want to. Go ahead. What were we gonna say, Walter? I just plugged my Ethernet cable in and and actually turned it on. You got to see if I uh, if anything changes. If I get if this is the the way to the yeah. You seem your signal seems to be coming in good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But you know, I think there's like a rolling internet thing going on because the internet guy for Big Daddy Guns got back to me and you know, he was like, yeah, there's, there's definitely something going on, but there's just so much traffic and things like that going on in the internet right now. Didn't you guys notice that during the break? Like I was trying to actually buy some stuff. <laughs> and the websites were just like shut down. Shut down, yeah. That's I didn't have any problem with it. So Man, I was trying really, I was trying real hard to get like a nine millimeter upper and I just, I didn't wind up being able to Never get one. one. Huh? You didn't get one? No, no, it's fine. I'll get it after all of this. Uh, okay. Through. Shut up and play your guitar says Walter is good and Claire now, but I'm, I'm blurry. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was seeing. Yeah. So I, I think it's rolling through. When I check my internet, sometimes it's good. I think my down, my upload is what's going a little slow, but the download is bouncing around them. You know, uh, TJ Blaze says Hank is blurry for him too. Okay, I'm okay, sorry. so it's probably good for you, man. You don't want to see me too clearly. You know, that might like crack yeah. mirrors in your house and oh, like, you know scare scare little babies into crying. <laughs> I, I just did an experiment. I turned my the Wi-Fi off. I guess I'm still connected, so the the cable Ethernet cable must be working. So. Yeah, well, actually, the tech guy told me that um, he can restart the system, but that will kick us out. <laughs> okay. And I don't think the person who's in the chat right now <laughs> would appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really, he probably will be totally fine with the blurriness. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. He, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, Kevin, today I talked to my, uh, my, my, I oh. sent an email to my patch people today asking mm -hmm. if they do stickers. And they do stickers too, like vinyl stickers. Yeah, I shot an email to your patch people and they ain't responded yet. Oh, really? Usually they respond yeah. pretty quick, man. Yeah, uh, they, ain't, they ain't get back to me. Somebody probably told them that you're an HK fan. <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> I, now, I, I, everyone, everyone's going off the fact that I said he. Okay, we do have a few women that are watching this thing. Now, I could just be randomly saying he, or maybe 99% <laughs> of the people who watch what I do are dudes. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jackson Oldman says we don't look blurry to him. So, yeah, I think I'm getting a better uh, thing when I turn the Wi-Fi off. So, yeah, I think there's lots of different factors. Um, 
you know, there's there's different factors going on here. Mm. So, oh, Simon says train is in the building. Our friend Simon, Simon? says train. Could be on the show. What's up, Simon? Yeah, I was just on there with them guys a couple of days ago. Last oh, week. you were? Oh, in yeah, Jersey? Uh, well, when I was in Connecticut, I went um, on their show. Oh, okay, yeah. You never talked about Connecticut. I just uh, went to, what? What do I say? <laughs> I mean, Tell us what happened when you went to the CIA. What the hell, you know, what were you up I to? did not go to the CIA. Look, man, I made sure I took a shower with uh, my favorite mm. soap, no gunpowder scent on me before I went. Uh, <laughs> got to Connecticut, did my business. I did have a wonderful conversation with the NSSF while I was out there, so that was cool. Big shout out to Tisma. I uh, had a wonderful dinner and conversation with her about some things, but uh, that was my highlight. Then I, I stayed out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so you're basically still not telling us what happened in Connecticut. That was a work. Yeah. That was a work detail, right, Ken? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's leave it work with it. Yeah. Basically, CIA business. No. Back up. As, I, as I said, I'm just a guy talking on YouTube, man. He's a black he's not, ops. Yeah, not he's yeah, he's black ops, but because since it's Kevin, it's like double black ops. <laughs> It's like Ooh, man. Super, super black ops. Black ops. <laughs> <laughs> the darkest op. <laughs> yeah. Sort of like shaft, so you can say I'm shafting. <laughs> <laughs> going nowhere quick. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. All right. So um, you know, obviously Mondays are also like, you know, free for all Mondays. Let's see. Oh, Kevin Dixie, did you look at did you look at Kevin's video, Walter? No, I have not. It's, okay, it's in the chat. It's in the chat. Up here, man. Is he like uh, doing a part, like an Eddie Murphy party all the time kind of video or something? Or uh, uh, no, you gotta look at. It. I don't want. Uh, like, I know you. For those who haven't seen it, Walter. You by the way, go ahead. But first of all, before we go anywhere on this, that's one of the most awesome songs that's ever was in existence. Eddie Murphy's party all the time. You the like way. it? Yeah, I love that song. I love I heard, party all I the heard time. It over the weekend. I actually yeah. heard it. My girl wants to what? party all the time. Party all the time. Love that song. When we were riding up your place, when you're riding uh, up to your place, I heard it on XM. Yeah. Oh man, I would have loved to. I love that Eddie Murphy song. When it first when it first came on, the beat started going. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of this song. What the hell is like this is from the what, what was that? Eight? No, that was it's early 80s. 90s. I heard it on the 80s on eight on XM. Was it okay? Was it eighties or was it actually in the night? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up now. So once they, but once he started singing, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that song. Daddy, all the time. Yeah, he had another one. Put your what was it? Put your mouth on me. <laughs> <laughs> now, on right? it, on no, one, am I am I wrong there? On one of his albums, uh, he's got a thing. Uh, it, it goes something like put the uh, the boogie in your butt. Uh, you know, put a baby tree in your butt. Put a thing. In, he's talking about putting party in all the time. Nineteen eighty-five. Oh, okay. Oh, boogie in your butt was nineteen ninety-six. Oh, really? Oh, put your mouth on me was nineteen eighty-nine. Oh, put your mouth on me. I told you there was. A, I told you there's such a thing. Man, you can find that stuff quick. Uh, I don't forget stuff like that. <laughs> I like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, old Eddie Murphy, is funny as hell. So yeah. yeah. It was no, but nothing was nothing was off limits. Nothing. So I yeah, liked. man. Eddie Murphy was so awesome up until he signed that Disney deal. I laughed all my. <laughs> I used to watch this all the time, man. He was like, oh yeah. There's some people hating on the Eddie Murphy song. Uh, John Gillian says it's. He says it sucks. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, Nine oh four outdoors says 1985 was a great year. <laughs> well, he's born then. Uh, yes. Probably. <laughs> Probably 1985. I was uh, I was living with my my my, my friends in a house, house full of like three guys, yeah. four guys. It was a party house. Yeah. Yeah. 1985. I was in high school. I think I was a sophomore in high school in 1985. Yeah. No, I was. <laughs> I was enjoying myself then. Uh, yeah. 1985. Yeah, those are good times. Good times. So Kevin's gonna. Be I didn't jealous. have a pot. I didn't have a pot to pee in, but I was having a good time. Yeah. Me neither, man. Me neither. I was a lot skinnier though. I think in 1985 I was like 150 pounds. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was I was probably like 190, but it was a lot more muscle there. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Kevin, you're gonna pretend you weren't born yet, right? Woo, man. Woo. Hey, <laughs> oh, y'all, yeah, showing the age there. I think I might have been a a thought of my daddy's. Uh... <laughs> a oh, you are you saying you weren't born? You weren't born in the 80s. I, I was born in the 80s. I probably wasn't old enough to listen to music, but I was born. 
You know, you guys were already, you know, with your disco fever clothes on and oh yeah, you know, boogieing out. Yeah, I had, I had Michael Jackson type outfits. Party was, time. That's yeah. when Michael was still kind of black. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so true. It is true. That's before. Yeah, that's before he started pretending he had vitiligo. Turning his turning his nose in different shape and yeah. face and everything else. Yeah, yeah. Poor because me. I mean, you know, I don't think anyone seriously believes that Michael Jackson actually had vitiligo. That's just not possible. No one else in the family has exhibited this vitiligo gene. Yeah, he had he had yeah. serious issues. Yeah, yeah. No. But you know, I mean, part. yeah, the eighties was awesome. So there you go. Yeah. Um, Boss Hog says real shit, Walter. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So I'm sorry. I sidetracked when you guys were talking about something. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? 1985 machine guns. Uh, uh, that was before the '86 thing with uh, where they stopped the manufacture for civilians. So you could pick up a Sten gun in like 1985 for like 300, 400 dollars. Wow. You know. Um, yeah. Now that same gun is five thousand, six thousand, depending on what you. What you do? And those uh those full auto machine guns were like that AR fifteen was oh uh, was like maybe six fifty and now it's sixteen thousand five hundred or twenty thousand, depending on what it is. So I'm telling you, you go back in a time machine, you go get a bunch of uh go get a bunch of machine guns. I'd machine up about ten thousand stent gun tubes and register. Yeah. And then just you know yeah. by that island in the Caribbean. Just, yeah, I'm telling you, if you get, if anyone ever invents a time machine, go back to the 80s, buy machine guns, bury them in shipping containers. And buy about $10,000 worth of Microsoft um, when they first came out, and then you're good to go, man. Apple stock. Apple's a good, that was a good investment, too, yeah. That's a good investment, too. Oh, oh, you know what? Well, wait, hold on. When did, uh, when did Amazon start trading? I think that was in 99 or 2000. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Cheap legal machine guns. Party all the time. Party all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you guys were going to talk about something, and then I, I was talking you. about the video. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was I'll, shut up. I'll, I'll like, shut up now. The, the video was just, it was it was funny because uh, we were just out there, and I was doing a little shooting, and literally we had put all the guns in a line, and uh, the person with me was like, oh, that's a nice gun line. And I was like, turn the camera on just out of the blue because i started thinking about eddie murphy and life and all that and um oh, that was from that was from the movie life yeah it was from the movie life because if you go back to where he was talking about uh tell him about the gun line boss you know at the beginning when they first oh, got when they, oh camp, yes okay you know, I get it. Gun line, boss. so oh, i just okay. i said hit play and i don't know where this country down south voice came from but it just it just happened, and it was. You don't know where the country voice came from. <laughs> I don't know where the country voice came from, Hank. Okay. Not this one. You got to hear this one. That one was a little different, but um, it was fun. It was funny. I just, and it, you know what? The reason why I put it out was this: sometimes people will think that uh, gun people are always serious, murder, death, kill. Like, I, I just want to have a good time. No, it was funny. I, I didn't figure out where it came from. I don't know if Walter's watched it or watching it, but no, uh, I uh, I wanted to watch it, but I got I got to hear the sound, so I can't. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you can watch it later. It was funny. So uh, everyone should go over to NOC Firearms on YouTube. Just search, go to YouTube, and in the search box, put NOC Firearms Training. I think yep, NOC Firearms Training. Yes, and then go watch his video, the gun line. It's very funny. I shared it. Um, and since we were talking about the eighties, I'll show you guys something real quick. This is on my Instagram. I don't know really? if it's going to focus. I, whenever, whenever yeah. I see that picture, man, I see your yeah. son. Yeah. That, yeah. That looks like my son right there. My, that looks like my son, uh, um, that looks like angst right there. Yeah. So that is from the, that's me in the eighties. Wow. That is you in the eighties. Yeah. Very skinny. Wearing some kind of kente cloth looking thing. I don't know. Let me see if I can get this to focus. It's refusing to. There we go. There we go. And this is. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's yeah. And so this is my this is my son nowadays. That's him right there. So little knucklehead, just like yeah. Okay. I guess I don't have to do that genetic test on him. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Why am I not hearing anything? Walter, are you there? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Walter was okay, muted. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone was muted. Yeah, so there you go. I had it off. I'm sorry. Yeah. I get I get chastised so much for when I make all kinds of noises. I'm like extra cautious. Yeah, about it. yeah you know what's funny? Well, before I started doing this gun thing, I was getting back to being skinny, and then this gun thing, man, is like is not helping with the weight situation. Oh man! Like it's editing, all the editing, and and like eating on the run. You know, eating burgers with, with <laughs> gunpowder. <laughs> That's the only way to eat a burger with gunpowder. I don't know if, oh, I didn't even give Lola that video. I got to give Lola that video. Oh, she didn't have it? No, I didn't give it to her yet. I, don't even, I didn't even tell her that I shot this. So Walter was uh, barbecuing for us. And the only reason you did it, because I said, you need to do that for your Patreon people. So Yes, yes. So that needs to go up on the Patreon sometime. Shit, soon I'll put it up. I'll get it. I'll, uh, I'll get it up there. So, run, baby. Yeah. So this is a very funny video. Everyone should go over there and check out that video. So, um, oh yes. And if Tyvin is Tyvin still in here, Lola wants me to thank Tyvin for the giveaways that he did last week. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's just amazing, man. Tyvin gave away some Omaha steaks and gave oh, away man. stuff from USA Chemical Supply. Yeah, we should have Tyvin on every day. <laughs> um, Hank, I want to point this out. Oh boy! Oh man, Brian, quick! <laughs> if Hank loses weight, his a new Audi will go faster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go wow. faster. Ouch! That hurts. Ouch! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That is a thing. It's funny, you know, there's people, like I put up a video with the first, and by the way, I want to encourage everyone to go over to Stranger Palooza. That's my, I've got a B channel that we're trying to put all the car stuff over there. Um, and it's called Stranger Palooza. So, uh, you know, I'm encouraging everyone to go over there, check it out, help us get the views up and all that kind of stuff. But um, so I posted, I, I posted this video of the first um, thing that we did, the modification to it. And then people will like tell me about different modifications. You know, people always tell you to do the cat back exhaust. Yeah. And I was looking at this guy that has a Honda S2000 on YouTube, which I used to have one of those. And he did a titanium cat back exhaust, right? Okay. This thing cost $2,500. Okay. Okay. Um, and the titanium one weighed like 15 and a half pounds. And then the original exhaust that was in, that was in the car, I think weighed like 50 pounds. So he saved some weight, right? Definitely saved weight, but he spent 2,500 bucks and then he installed it himself and everything. So he saved money on the installation, but then he put it, he did a before and after on the dyno. <laughs> Zero amount change. He gained one and a half horsepowers. Man, that was a lot of jack though. <laughs> yeah. So, like for me, I mean, you know, I just that just reminded me when someone said about the weight. Like weight loss is always good. That always helps. Yeah. You know, so if you can lose weight on the car or the person in the car, <laughs> that'll help. But you know, twenty five hundred bucks for one and a half horsepower? I don't think so. Yeah, my son says, and it is true. It's better, more important to get that turbo breathing free. So, you have a turbo in that, right? Um, in the Audi, yes, there's a turbo in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah get, get that thing breathing better. Yeah. yeah, but see, honestly, like for me, if I first of all, I don't really believe that the money to do all those things is worth it. And then, second of all, a lot of times you do stuff, you're gonna void your warranty. So, well, if you're in the warranty period, yeah, and you show up with all kinds of stuff, they're gonna laugh at you. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Mike Bryan says I should try to raise demo ranch. <laughs> I've seen, I, I, is he talking about the go-kart that Temple Ranch has? Because, um, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Let's see. I've seen I've seen him drag racing some people in that go-kart. That go-kart is pretty, it's really light. Yeah. And then, and like, you know, in my vehicle with me being in there, it'd be like two people. And then with Demo Ranch's skinny ass, you know, he's he's got the weight. Of, uh, no, I don't think so. I wouldn't, I, you know. Maybe I'll drag race him in his, uh, you know, he has a Raptor. Maybe I'll, I would take that race. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably beat him in that one because I'll be lighter. You know, that's one thing I, I heard about the new Raptors. Even though the new Raptors are V6, they in like a straight up old school V8 Raptor and against a V6 Raptor, the new V6 one wins. Hmm. 
because it's lighter. Now, what is so what is so um, special about the Raptors in general? Like, I know a lot of guys like them, but what's up with them? My my interpretation interpretation of the original Raptor was the fact that it had a high, it had a high um, um, it had more suspension travel and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's supposed to be like you know more like an off road ready. Kind yeah, it's of set up as a desert racer. Right. Okay. So then you so then you see the video like a Baja, that like a Baja racer type thing. Yeah, the guy that takes his truck out and jumps it and breaks it in half. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. Well, I, I knew this guy from um actually a guy that worked for the trigger company, Tacon. And they Tacon actually gave this guy a raptor. Because there was something they were doing with those triggers and they had some deadline and they were telling him, Oh, we're not gonna there's no way you're gonna meet the deadline. And then he was like, oh, I think we can win this deadline. They had a bet that if he could beat the deadline, that they would buy him a Raptor, and he won, and they bought him a Raptor. And uh, he drove that thing like he stole it because he pretty much he pretty much did steal it. <laughs> you know, so it's, it, you know, it's cool. The Raptors, I mean, it's a pickup truck, and it's all souped up, and, you know. Yeah. It's just a badass uh, desert racing truck. You know? Yeah, it's so. not really – you don't want to – try to desert race with that thing the way it is i mean it, you'll 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 find out real quick it ain't what they think it is so uh, yeah yeah so hmm. i was curious about that okay good I got it. yeah uh will killer says v8 ranger with long travel suspension yeah you build yourself one of those you'd be a yeah. maybe money ahead if you want to I, I thought ford was gonna do um a v a, like a raptor version of the ranger i heard that so well they don't want that ranger to outrun the raptor yeah. Or they won't sell any Raptors. <laughs> yeah. Real cool, Joe, by the way, Kevin says, uh, NLC Firearms uh, channel, damn, that video was spot on. The people down here sound just like that. And here I am, damn Yankee, twice removed, plus I look Middle Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> damn, real. So, yeah. Um, 50 Stitches Seal said the video of the Raptor with the guy jumped in and broke it because his wife got in, uh, got it in a divorce. Oh, he broke it deliberately. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah. lots of videos out there. Guys going to play, uh, play Dukes of Hazard and end up breaking the things in half or, or mm -hmm. flipping yeah. over or something. So, yeah. Yeah. Tyvon Show says Raptors are overrated. So tell us. So tell us, Kevin, look at what kind of are you into cars? I, I am into cars uh, now. See before, and with, I wish I do. I have a picture. Um, before my car, I'm more of a big wheels slow. Okay, I was I was gonna say you're you you're kind of like a donk guy. I would believe you have not, 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 not necessarily the donk. Now the biggest I ever went on my car was a uh, twenty twenty twos or twenty fours. One of the two. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, uh, as big as I ever went on it. <laughs> That's pretty and, damn. Uh, I was really into the sound uh, and the appearance. So I had a 2002 Chevy Monte Carlo that was um, that was kind of the bee's knees. Uh, but with, the 22s, sound, with 22s or 24s on it? I think I went 22s and then put 24s. I went 20s and put 22s. I forget which one. Yeah, explain got, explain to Walter what a donk is. I know what a donk is. Oh, you, you do? Okay. I know what it is. Oh, oh okay. No, I, 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 I thought you didn't. I, I, I'm familiar with that kind of um, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Brian yeah, Quick I, I, says, "Does Kevin drive a minivan?" It's okay. We understand. No. I, I am a I am a Chevy GMC boy. So. Oh okay. Uh, mainly yeah. GMCs is what I rely on. I'm a Denali fan. Denali's on my trucks. Oh yeah. There um, you go. And that's what I drive. I got so, a yeah. suburban. Uh, yeah. I don't even like that. I won't even like if I had my choice. I wouldn't even drive like the Tahoe. I have to have the Denali. Don't I know it makes no sense, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to. It has to say GMC and it's an alley, but I do like the Tahoe's. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is the price on them lately. It's oh ridiculous. yeah, no. Oh, all those. I mean, the 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 Escalade is insane right now. Yeah, and no. I will not buy an Escalade. Yeah. I drove one in the summertime. It was nice, but you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I can buy another. I can probably get a good deal in a little house for what they want for that shit. Yes. So, you know, so yeah. I did that in the, in the sound system. I was a big guy in the sounds. Like I had a, a monoblock D class amps in my car. I had three of those. I was pushing. <laughs> upwards of, I don't know, upwards of, I used to have two, uh, what did I have back there? Was it the L7s? I forget, forget. But I was rocking every bit of, I don't know, just in subs, about 4,000 watts. 
just to okay. I actually took and split the rear quarter panel of my car. Most guys just like to blow out the windows. Like I, I secured the windows with my quarter panel. Literally was split in half, and then I quit. I was done. I wanted my ears to survive. Oh yeah. So, um, Boss Hog says Chevelle SS. I don't know if that's him or what he's assuming you drive. Nope, not a Chevelle, not me. Yeah. Um, Tyvin says no Ranger. They're doing the Bronco. Um, Archangel says uh, at, to to Kevin that um, L M F W A O from that video. His stomach still hurts. Uh, <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yes. Good. L M F W A O. What is that? Laugh my fucking <laughs> white ass off. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gorillas and Guns says KD has a bubble. I don't. I don't know what to take from that. Now I was just about to stand up too. Now I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Wagon wheels. Don't. Uh, boom, boom. Diamond, you see a picture of my car? Mike Bryant says, "I don't think a donk is what I think it is." Okay, Kevin, explain to the folks what a donk is. So what a donk is, in car terms, it's a, a, a normally an old school, but it can be a new car. On extremely high suspension, think of um, mutters and how they raise their trucks up. Extremely high suspension with enormously big wheels. So a donk can have like 30-inch wheels on a Chevy Camaro. Or, a Chev or, or an Impala or something or like Impala. that. Or you can take an old school. And a lot of them do the, the Chevy Caprices. Yeah. You take one of those and you lift that thing up. It'll be sitting 60 inches in the air with 30-inch wheels on it. Right. That's a donk. And normally they put the... The male part sack in the back for it can swing down the street as they drive. Yeah. That's a donk. That's yeah. A donk. Um, I've seen, first of all, I'm going to say, you know, I, I've got nothing against donks or whatever per se. I mean, it's all good. Um, I have seen them like donk out some badass classic cars that it's just a shame. <laughs> it hurts your feelings? Yeah, that they, you know, that they did that to classic cars. But now I notice that they're donking new cars. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm seeing like brand new, uh, you know, uh, what is it? What did I see that was donked out? I think I saw um, the Porsche, not the not the Panamera. No, no, they don't uh, donk out a Porsche. Yeah, no, they, no, there's there's a there's some crazy cars that you would not believe that have that are donks nowadays. That's a that's a that's a that's a no, not you don't. Uh, I've seen I've definitely seen the Chrysler 300s. Yep. Yeah, the the Chrysler three hundreds donked out. I've seen a whole bunch of different um like of brand new cars and and a lot of SUVs on donks, which like it's I don't know. But in Florida that's really, really big, man. And I think they have car shows like that here. Probably so, do. You know, yeah, so um Florida you can ask you can deal with it because your streets are so smooth here. As you get that, that salt on your street every year, so many potholes, guys won't, they, they really don't do that kind yeah, of stuff. I don't know how the hell people climb. There's some people, sometimes you see a little tiny person getting out of a donk. <laughs> You're like, how the hell are you getting up and down? Uh-oh, the cuteness is in the building. Hi, everybody. Hi. Say hi, hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I like your Christmas hat. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. What does he look like, baby? Santa. He looks like <laughs> <laughs> now, Listen, Kevin, I know in your house you have two pictures up in your house. I guarantee you, or you should. In my mind, this is what I think, Kevin. You should have one picture of the of the black Jesus, and the other picture should be the black Santa. Put the black Santa and the black Jesus up in the house. Oh, you want to show me your award? That's, that's the, from the cruise. Yeah, that's my break Okay. Hey, Caitlin, well, you want to show people out there how smart you are? <laughs> no, I'm too shy. No, you're not. You're not shy. You ready? No. You ready? Look. No. Sound to get serious. You got to look. <laughs> no. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Okay, so let's do it like we did the last time. <laughs> that way you can keep proving people how smart you are. Caitlin, what is this? A gun. Is this a toy? No. Should we ever touch one? No. Can it hurt people? Yes. Should we ever pick it up and play with one? No. If you see one, what do you do? Call the ground up. Call the ground up. If you see one in the house, who do you tell? You. Yep. Are they ever, ever, ever to be treated like toys? Nope. All right. Give me kisses. Mwah. Thank you, big girl. Mm -hmm. And also, I like her nails. I know she's got multicolored nails. Yeah. I guess that's what all the young. That's what all the young people are doing now. You got to have different colors. Sure. 
Yeah, her grandma took her to the nail shop. Oh. Uh, Makes my life so much easier. Yeah, <laughs> he's all kitted out. Uh, we are talking about cars. Let me see, where was this? Um, here we go, where is this? Uh, Babyface is in the house. Oh, Babyface, what's up? No. I was gonna say we were talking about cars and um, and Real Cujo was talking about his car. And I think it's, it's a Chrysler Pacifica. I want to see the, the thing roll by. He says it's worth $84,000. Jesus. Because, but it's equipped for him. It's like... Um, oh, okay. He got... Yeah, he. I guess you can get a wheelchair and stuff like that in there. And it's equipped that he can hand drive it. I'm trying to find where that comment is. But like these comments scroll by so fast. Oh, here we go. I have a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica worth 84000 just for my stupid wheelchair. Oh, and and uh, hand controls. That's a whole a whole new way of driving. <laughs> so that's pretty badass. The uh, Pacificas are pretty. I, I like them. Minivans, man. Minivans have come so far from what they used to be. By the way, oh, you know, yeah. there like was it? like a stigma of having a minivan. I had them. I, I say that the to me the modern like big boy like a man like a SUV is the man's minivan. I mean, think about some things. They do the same thing. A minivans are cool. Like when I rent a car, if I'm doing a family trip, I want a minivan. Yeah, Both but you're not gonna you're not gonna buy a minivan. What you're saying? No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because minivans today, like uh, I think I, I could be wrong. I don't know if the Pacifica is like this, but minivans, all the back seats can fold down into the. You like you don't have to remove them like you used to have to do. They fold down in there. And you have cargo storage, and some of them come with vacuums and everything like built in. It's pretty badass, badassery, I guess is the way to say it. I see, but yep, Babyface is in here. Babyface, I guess he was working on degreasing that mill. So shout out to him. Forge from Freedom is also in the chat. He says, what's up? What's up? Or he says, what's up to Mike? I don't know who, oh, Mike Bryant, maybe. So, Mike okay. So, the homie. Yeah. Chris so, and Mike. Mark. So Walter, uh, so Lola saying tomorrow for the hundredth show we've got Babyface and Walt Walter. I don't know what's Kevin doing. I'll be uh cue point at the range all day. Oh, oh, it's Tuesday. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Will Killer Keller says supercharge all wheel drive minivan. Yeah, but you know what? Just don't call it a minivan, damn it. <laughs> you know, race race. They got races where they race minivans. It's kind of hilarious. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to sell more, just don't call it a minivan. We have to just come up with some other name for it. Call it like the awesome wagon. <laughs> I mean, you, if you think about it, minivans might be able to take the avenue that station wagons once took. Let well, me tell you the station wagon that made me like station wagons. This it, that Ford Taurus wagon. But I remember those things first came out. Yeah. Like they were the things to have. And oh. then all of a sudden I look up and this thing called a Dodge Magnum came out. Oh, yeah. I like the Magnum. I yeah. Like so I went, and, I went and bought one of them. I had to have it because it's like the coolest station wagon ever. Mm -hmm. right? So yeah. I had I had to have a Magnum. Yeah, yeah. but in, in, in like Europe, those are very uh, like uh, what they call estate wagons, very popular, and it comes and goes here in America, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they discontinued the Magnum. They don't make it anymore. That's kind of sad. It's a good little car. Yeah. Uh, Yuri Modin says Dodge used to have the super hot rod station wagons back in the day, which, you know, so which they don't. Um, yes, yeah, someone. Old, you remember yeah. the real, the real big old Caprice wagons they had yeah, with, uh, with the wood panels on the outside. Yeah, right, the last <laughs> miles, the big Caprices that were all rounded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those things, people, people, people collect those things. They gather those things. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, a nice station wagon is, you know, you know. I carry my revolver in single action. Says I got a Magnum in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So what's up with Babyface? Uh, oh, Babyface is talking about how he cleaned up his uh, the table of the thing. Yeah, he should come on and just show us the the milling machine. Milling machine porn. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe porn. tomorrow we'll, when he comes on, we'll have him showing show us the milling machine. Okay, so go ahead. I do want to open up, and I would like for anybody that I'm going to take advice from, should be at least a buck on the Patreon and definitely subscribe to the YouTube. But I need some advice, so I'm going to open it up. For the Hank Strange peoples. So, 
but are kind of my peoples now too. And Walters. Yeah. Nobody really likes we you. Share, we share peoples. We share people. Yeah, I mean, nobody, nobody likes you though. You just host it. So oh, well, yeah, <laughs> everyone everyone loves Lola. This is true. Lola's a sweetheart. Yeah. Right. So here is my six hour nineteen eleven. Okay. All right. So I am going to um do things to this gun, but I want um, to say okay, just make sure that they're legal in your state. The things that you're going to do, they are, they are, they are okay. very legal. In my state. It's legal for you to do sexual things with your guns in your state. So you're saying you're going to do things to it. No, it, no, we can't because she gets. I got to guess what you're going to do. Yeah, it's let, not yeah, being just behind the HK. So no, no, she's, I'm just not on me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Tango Hunter says, "Trade it for a Glock." Yeah, right. <laughs> I want somebody, and as long as you're in the, the, the Patreon and on the YouTube, tell me what to do to this gun as far as um, anything. Except I'm going to leave the exterior black, but I'm looking for advice on the grips. I mean, it, it, um, it, it's not going to get the redness? It This one? No, probably not. Okay. Not right. on this. I'm out, I'm out of it. Classic 1911. My original thought was, but I'm not a very artistic person. So my original thought was just to go ahead and get it nitrated, all black, yep. keep it black. And I kind of like that idea and then get the skeletonized trigger. I'm going to send it off to a Carolina Arms Group in uh, North Carolina for them to do the trigger work. But the trigger, I'm thinking I want it, I want it skeletonized, but I'm thinking an all black kind of nitrated chrome look. I think you should send it to WMD Guns and all, like all kidding aside or whatever, because there's a whole bunch of stuff I could tell you. Like I was thinking in my mind, like you should um, buy a high point and just take the plastic off the high point and glue it onto the gun. <laughs> what? You do? What? <laughs> <laughs> so it'll no. look like a high point, but you know, it'll run like a... Uh, me, and, me, and, uh, me and my son had an idea for something like that. I don't want to necessarily want to say it because somebody might copy my idea, but yeah, it was kind of camouflage your uh, Glock or your 1911 with some high pointage. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, I think you should do, you should you should talk to WMD Guns, man. They can do a real nice finish to that. Yeah, we shall see. I also got my guy here, Midwest Cerakote, too. I don't know. Oh well, okay, that's true. If you've got Midwest Cerakote, you know, don't let me get. I mean, it's like, but it's all about making yeah. it. I do. I said I wanted this to be one of the guns that does actually, as long as it's affordable. I mean, I have to be, I have to be realistic too. I wanted this to kind of be a montage of things, a just classic look. But it has to go to one shop to get the trigger. It might have to then be shipped off somewhere else. I don't mind it traveling, traveling. Yeah, and definitely change the grips. Yeah, the grips. Yeah, the grips are definitely uh, for close up. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but you know, um, it'll, you know, that's always a nice thing that you could do. Put yeah. some nice grips on there, you know. Um, yeah. Hogue, Hogue, and and some other companies out there have pretty cool grips that you can put on there. Um, I carry my revolver in single action. Wants to know if I watch the Barrett Jackson auctions? Yes, I do. Um, I don't have cable. I don't pay for cable, but if I'm at a hotel or something like that, I'll watch the Barrett Jackson stuff. Drives Lola crazy. Because I'll just put Barrett Jackson auctions on on uh, what is that on Velocity? Yeah, that's usually where it's at. Yeah, yeah, and I'll just let that roll and look at the badass cars rolling through in the auction. So yeah, yeah. Um, let's see if we got uh, Yuri Modin says Punisher 1911. You know, um, <laughs> my son says high yeah. point slide conversion for the 1911. Yeah, Babyface says he can do the trigger work for you. He has the tools. Oh, yeah. um, so one of the things that Babyface doesn't understand is well, that's that's not. I'm not going to get into that. I'm, we'll have to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't actually send it to Babyface. Let's put it that way. I I already understood what you're saying. Yeah, I um, <laughs> we got to talk to Babyface about the rules. These things, <laughs> no one has the rules. <laughs> Of how you actually, what you could do, what you can't do, <laughs> what you could discuss on the internet, so what you can't. What you can't. Uh, yeah. Um, Tango Hunter says engrave the slide like Sid did their limited edition P938 and the P238, then throw on white pearl grips. Hmm. White pearl grips. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. No. I, uh, I don't know. 
Now, if you're going to get all crazy with the grips and you don't want to go traditional, you can get a grip with some boobies in it. <laughs> some booby grips. I want to keep it classy. So, so my, and I, you, I, it, you want to keep it classy? I want to keep it kind of classy because I want to. I know I'm going to have um, uh, Jeremiah over at uh, Savoy Leather make the holster for it because they just they just do some phenomenal stuff with leather. Uh, and on the outside of it, I'm still. Tr I don't know, man. It's like a whole concept. Like I want to. I want this to be so pretty. You almost well. Like if you get it, if you get it refinished, uh, nice wood grips would be nice, like a like a burl wood, like a <laughs> some like burl wood, burl the actual, the burl. actual burl wood. Yeah, the actual burl, not the burl, <laughs> but the burl. The burl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jackson Ullman says, "Just go wait. Hold on a second. Uh, just go with black and accent it with red parts. Yeah, do it like um, you know uh, what do you call it? Uh, blade." Go blade style. Uh, Forge from Freedom gave us ten bucks, and he says, "How many people here would vote vote yes to T-shirt of the month subscription starting January first? Also, reminder that our Cyber Monday deals for the Hank Strange store end tonight, midnight Eastern. Oh crap! Yeah, I was supposed to be talking about the uh, Forge from Freedom. <laughs> let me um, let me go into that. Yeah, so Forge from Freedom does actually have. Um, What? That's the post. What's the post say? Oh, okay. So here we go. So Forge from Freedom has a uh, twenty percent off, and I think it's going till midnight. So um, here, you know, Lolo posted something on Instagram. I'll repost it later. But it's basically if you use the code Strange Twenty, you get twenty percent off shirts until midnight for Cyber Monday. You know, I guess we we should have like announced this earlier, but I just found out about this when we were coming on air, so I didn't know that this has been going on. But um, so he says the Cyber Monday deals for the Hank Strange store end tonight, midnight Eastern time. So just use Strange Twenty for is it Strange Twenty? Strange Twenty for twenty percent off. Um, okay, so now let's go back to what we were talking about here. Yeah, right. Speaking of speaking of rebates, all you guys out there that are interested in some Remington products, their a hundred dollar rebate thing ends tonight at midnight. So um, if you had bought something during those days, you need to have it. Um, you need or you or a last minute thing. If you can get it tonight, you need to have it uh, dated for today. And yeah, and then the uh, you got till the fifteenth of December to file for your re hundred dollar rebate. Yeah, there's a couple of um, oh, oh, Rand CLP has uh, free shipping and 15% off site wide when you spend 20 bucks. So that's Rand CLP. They've got a Cyber Monday. Do you guys have any other Cyber Monday? I don't know if you can even see that. Uh, yeah, I'm getting ridiculous um, uh, glare. Lucid, Lucid.com. They actually have 25% off everything and free shipping. Okay. For Cyber Monday, so I thought that was a pretty cool one. Yeah, so DR Guns, I don't know if you can see this, but DR Guns, they've got buy any DR DRG, which is DR Guns, lower at retail price, receive a stripped matching upper for free. Huh. Buy a 308 billet set, get a free DRG 308 handguard. Buy a BCG, get one free. Hmm. Handguards are 50% off. And receive a free uh, 0.750 low profile gas block with each order. So once you order, we'll know to add the free parts into your box when we ship the products. So no need for a code or special instruction. So DR Guns, you can find our link for DR Guns on my Facebook for anyone who has Facebook. So there you go. Are there any? Who else has any other like uh, Cyber Monday things going? Walter, do you you guys still have the? Um, I think Walter still has for the KES stock for the CZ Scorpion. Actually, Plus, that um that ended. Um, last, oh, it did last night. Um, the stocks, but what about the CZ Scorpions ones? Oh yeah, that's still on special. That's one ninety nine. That's an introductory. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's still going on. Um, and um, we're 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 cutting parts right now, so good time to get one. Yeah, and we'll have a video on that going up soon. Right now, the people who can watch it are the uh, Patreons. So that's up there for the Patreons in a couple of days or so. We'll put it out for um, for everyone else. But if you want to get in, I think the first 200. 199. 199. Yep. So. It's a good price. It's getting good. Um, it's getting good. Um, you know, people are seeing it and, and, and talking good about it when they see yeah. it. Yeah. 
Real Cujo says he got two of my shirts yesterday from Forge from Freedom. Thank you very much. Awesome. TJ Blaze said he already got his shirt. Um, you know, Crispy says, don't forget to thumbs up. We got 100 people watching us right now. At this moment, I can see there's 100 people watching. So please, 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 please. Yeah, click the thumbs up, guys. Let's do it. Come on, Kevin. Show, show them how to do it. Show them the thumbs. Give me, give me the thumbs, and then I'm going to give them a public service announcement. But there are the thumbs. Click thumbs up. That stuff is yeah. important, guys. Please click it. Absolutely. Okay, Kevin, what's your announcement, my friend? My announcement is this. I don't know about you guys, and I'm not trying to put you on blast, but it was and it was not a mean comment, so I'm not saying it was mean. It's all love. Uh, but one thing that I will do, I don't believe in going anywhere at any given time unarmed, okay? That includes while I'm sitting here doing this video, I don't know when crazy is going to come to the door. So I know it might make people some uneasy, but I will tell you, anytime I'm doing a video, there is a loaded gun somewhere around me because I'm still at home, things still happen, and I'm not going to be running around looking for a gun. If you abide by the safety rules, one of them which treat every gun like it's loaded, everything will be fine. But there's always a loaded gun around me, period. If there are guns, one of them has ammo. Normally, what I do is make sure that the gun that has ammo is kind of separated from the rest of them, right? And then you always chamber check any gun when you pick it up regardless, right? So, yes, there will be loaded guns around me. I hope everybody's okay with that because just because I'm talking to you doesn't mean evil won't come knocking on the door. Okay? Amen. Absolutely. <laughs> Should always be ready for action. <laughs> I don't do anything without, without uh, you know, there has to be a gun very, very close, which means on me. So there you go. Yeah, so it's just it's, it's always a good habit to be into. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Ullman says chamber two. <laughs> None of that nonsense like when things go down, you think you're gonna remember the chamber at that moment. Okay. Good luck with that. Uh now there have been countless and I, I do that in my classes. I, Cause I have people like, hey man, I'm just more comfortable. You know, and this is not just basic. This is when you start climbing a ladder a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay. And so there's one drill I do where I induce as close to because you guys are trained, so you know you can only do, you can only get so real, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but as real as you can get, and you induce stress, and I could tell you, man, gross motor skills are what you think you're gonna have, are gonna go right out the window. And I've never had a student that remembered to do that. Yeah. Well, if you if you train like the Israeli dudes, if you got the time and the energy, yeah, that's like the Israeli really dudes train. They do that in everything, man. When they take they when they take away techniques, part of they, every single thing they do, they. They uh they rack the slide everything with handguns. So uh, Walter, we can't hear you. I think you're muted. The reasons the Israelis do all that stuff because they had a lot of accidental discharges and and people getting shot on with by accident, and they can't afford to have one guy shot when you don't have that many people in your army. So that's mm -hmm. why they do that stuff. So. That's all. Yeah. Uh, Forge from Freedom says, I always have the deadliest weapon with me at all times. My, my, my Irish wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, 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 you know, I've uh, actually spoken to his wife. She's very nice. And I see a lot because of guys. You're, nice like, mean you're not deadly. A lot of guys are like commenting about, you know, how they carry their guns. Look. I'm not going to get in any discussion. I've been doing this 20 years, all right? I'm not going to get in any discussion with how you carry, where you should carry, which way is best. Just carry a gun. I don't care. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I would tell you free. how yeah. close it is. If you like to lay yours in a rental wraps with a with an old pancake and some stale eggs on top of it, I don't care. Just please make sure if you legally can, you have a loaded gun with you or about you at all times. Sometimes doing these shows, I got on sweatpants, so I'm not going to have it on my hip. That's just silly. Right, not gonna carry a gun that weighs 34 ounces on my hip with some sweatpants. You might see more than you bargain for when I stand up. Right? <laughs> so, uh, you might see a real loaded weapon. <laughs> right, you know what I mean? So no, I'm not gonna do that. You but, might get an accidental discharge. <laughs> hey, hey man, you I'm telling you, because what happens is a lot of times people oh start now in a normal situation. I'm always like, hey, if you were in your house and you do have on a proper clothing, you know, jeans or some nice shorts or even a light gun. You know, yeah, the gun should always be secured on you when you're in the home. It's the safest place to always be on your body. But if it has to be off body, just make sure it's within arm's length and you can get to it quickly. Because sometimes, you know, I don't, I'm not going to sit here in front. Every man in here at some point, and even the women, have, has gotten up in the middle of the night with his skivvies, you know, 
<laughs> you're not hosting. If you got underwear strong enough to hold a gun, we need. Yeah, hold on. Some of us sleep in the nude, right, Walter? I mean, I. Yeah, you know, just, <laughs> just, but you know, if you go to the fridge, yeah, you get some drink, drink, snack. You know, you might have to carry a gun in your hand. That's how I do it. I always don't have the have the option of having one cocked on me. But I got I will come in my skivvies and come down right to the refrigerator and get something at two o'clock in the morning. If I'm stealing cookies or whatever I'm stealing, I got a gun in my hand. Yeah, I don't understand this, but Will Killer says that's how I carry during brunch in the pancake stack. <laughs> uh, Cal L says I sleep with my rifle between my legs. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know people who do that. That's not totally uh, crazy. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This one's for, and this one's for fun. Ah! John Gillian says I just brought uh, just bought my shirt. Good, good, good. Um, uh, Razor JB said the reason Israelis do that because it's a lifestyle. Women, children, and men carry rifles everywhere and just lay it on the table or floor while eating dinner. It's a lifestyle. So, yep. uh, Mike Brunton said donk. I think that's in that's in reaction to when Kevin's drawers drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gorillas and Guns says I have a French wife with psycho bitch tattooed on her ankle. <laughs> sure, oh, okay, um, you know. Don't say you weren't warned. <laughs> you know, that's one of those things. Like, in life, the number one lesson I can give anyone in life, learn to read the signs. A lot of times in life, we ignore the signs. As long as you read the signs, then you've been forewarned of what's coming at you. So, yeah. Um, Carry guns. Yeah, Jackson Oman says, this is one of my biggest pet peeves. Might as well just keep a hammer close if you're not going to keep it chambered. Good night, Big Dad. Oh, what? Big Daddy. Oh, my God. Lola, from now on, you have to call me Big Daddy, damn it. <laughs> Why? Big Daddy. Are you kidding me? Oh, damn it. See, don't don't get front of that one. Wow. Yeah, okay, Kevin, then I respect your authority. There you go, sir. <laughs> I respect your P-I-M-P. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Okay. So should we do? We we are still gonna we're gonna announce who won this gun. Oh, that's should right. we do, should that. we do that or should we do news? Let's do news. Make them make them wait for it. Make them sweat it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Kevin's cruel. Yeah. <laughs> Lola said you're being cruel. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 106 people watching us now. I hope all you guys are clicking the thumbs ups. So you know what? No, no. You know, actually, let's announce it because that way we're gonna give the person who won a chance to like be in here celebrating with all of us and we can give kudos. So you're going to be able to gloat to it. Yeah. Mark Wagner says his Sicilian wife's maiden name translates to armed assassin. <laughs> yeah, everyone has to put up there where their wife is from now. Uh, my, my wife is Ghanaian. I don't know what they have. What's their claim to fame? Gold. <laughs> oh, gold. Yeah. Hello. They sold our people into slavery. That's what they have. That's their claim to fame. That's, right. That's the claim. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the people who sold my peoples into slavery. Hey, okay. Speaking of that slavery thing, have you seen in the news? You've seen where they've been posting a lot of pictures on Facebook and stuff of the uh, of the li of the Libyan slave. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I, I, I'm not. I'm not happy when I see that bullshit. Yeah, and 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 and, 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 oh. and you think these you think these liberals here would be all wound up about it? They could give a shit. They don't care. Man, that's horrible stuff to see. Man, slavery is the is. There's a lot of bad things in the world. I'm not trying to say, but that is a really and just horrible, to think, just to think thing. our former our former president he tippy toed around all those those folks over there, yeah. and uh, so he's basically selling himself into slavery. That bastard. So um, yeah. Um, I, listen, death penalty to anyone who gets involved in slavery in the slave trade. Okay. Slave I have no, no sympathy, no empathy, no quarters given you. You, if you're involved in slavery, you do not deserve to exist on the planet with the rest of us. Speaking of slavery, did you guys oh. hear, hear the story about the young lady? I might say her name wrong, but Cynthia, the young lady that was, um, I was basically prostituted in different rings, and then she finally got a. She had a. She had a pimp that was abusing her and everything, killed and she him. finally got her hands on the gun and shot and killed the guy. And they're trying to send her to life in life in prison. Oh man, what's where is that? What is that? Oh, I have to look it up. But yeah, it's it's a sad story that's going around now. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, my uh, I carried my revolver in single action. Says my wife is from hell. <laughs> 
Uh, Giles, Giles Henry Michael says, Jr. says, my wife is from Chihuahua, Mexico. Not Chihuahua. Oh. Moss Hogg says, Shreveport, Louisiana. Hey, um, Michael Jr., so is it true that um, Hispanic women are very passionate when you make them angry? Why? Are you curious? Are you planning on messing with I mean, some kind of no, Latino women? I'm just saying, man, I just, I just, I did the movie. You might say one thing, and I know a couple of Hispanic women, but I don't want to judge. So I just want Michael to tell me he married a woman from Mexico. Are Hispanic women um, um, emotionally um, amplified? Charged. Yeah. Um, I would like to, you yeah. know. Yeah. So let, let me see. Let me see here. There's everyone saying what their where their wife is from. Um, let's see. Oh, some T TKO five nine three is newly married. Yeah. Um, Vanessa Kitty says separated, getting divorced, no husband. <laughs> uh, Laird Cummings, my wife is from Central Illinois farm country, soybeans and shotguns. Oh yeah. Yeehaw. Yeah. Um, very nice. Very nice. Range one says hang them. Yeah, man. I, we we should not we should not have any kind of like people who are involved in the slave trade just should not exist, man. Like you said, no quarter given. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let me see. I'm gonna go down here. A lot of folks over there, so you know. <sighs> yeah. So okay. Listen. Let's go ahead to the let's let's go ahead to this giveaway. All right. So um, like I said before, there's lots of folks that were involved in you know, that participated in this. So I want to thank everyone that did it. You know, I wish I can give like a gun to every single person that was involved in this thing. I wish I can give a gun to everyone in the world, like in that Coke commercial. <laughs> yeah. I like to the world with gun. Yeah. yeah, I like to give the world guns and bullets, <laughs> you know. Um, but, but I can't, obviously we can't do that. So we're going to give this gun to one person, you know, um, and I'm going to like, We've already figured out who that person is. We're going to announce that here uh, in a second. You know, but what I want to do is make sure that everyone that participated in this, that you know that we appreciated it. There's a bunch of people that, like, um, sent letters. Uh, you know, they, they did Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, by no means should anyone out there be discouraged. We're going to keep giving away guns. As long as I'm here, as long as I'm breathing, as long as I'm able to do this, we're going to keep giving away guns. Lola wants me to read. Now, we've said it before because there's people who said, well, you know, I don't have social media. And, um, you know, uh, what, what else can I do? And we always tell people you could call up. You can go, you can, you can go into places if you can do that. You can, easiest thing you can do is send them a letter. You can email them a letter. You can send them an actual physical letter, put a stamp on it. And so the guy who won this gun behind me, he actually, here, let me take it off of here so we can, so you can see this. The guy who won this, he, um, he participated on social media, but he also sent this letter. So, and he sent the letter to Stag Arms, who gave us this gun. So he wrote, to whom it may concern, I want to thank you for your commitment to Hank Strange and the Second Amendment. It is extremely encouraging to see companies like yours banding together with great people like Hank and Lola. The gun community is truly a family. And it has been great seeing you guys participate in Hank's social media journey. His presence has continued to grow in no small part because of the help of companies like yours. Thank you so much for your continued support of the Hank Strange situation. And thank you for putting out some really sweet products. Okay. And sincerely, J.C. Wagman, Jackson Oldman. That's who, that's who, that's who won this gun, man. <laughs> You get oh, right. congratulations! You, you get this great <laughs> You're the winner of this. I'm, I couldn't be happier. Like I said, I wish I could give like everyone this gun, and really, that's what we're trying oh, to do yeah, here. He says. he says, "Holy crap!" <laughs> you know, I wish I wish we could really just give this to everyone. I really, I really, really want to say that um, because there are lots of people that participated in this, and all the people doing that, you you help. You help this happen. I know that it affects things. When I talk to the guys at Brownells and all these companies, it affects things to see to see you guys uh, with the feedback and all that kind of stuff. So it's much appreciated. I want to encourage everyone to keep doing it. Um, if we're, you know, through the process of me doing this, I am going to be able to give away to all the people that support me. Hopefully, that's that's my dream. 
what would make me happy to be able to give everyone a gun. But right now, we're going to give this to JC. He gets All right, this. Now, one one little so. stipulation here. I don't want to see it on uh, I don't want to see it on on uh, on gun broker tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, okay. don't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so there you go. Jackson Oman says I'm shaking. <laughs> Congratulations. Joe Carpenter says congrats, you bastard. <laughs> Zachary Cahill says congrats. Lots of people say congrats. Um, you won't be shaking. Yeah, You'll be Ford from Freedom. Yourself. Ford from Freedom says congrats. He uh, he says this is insanely humbling. You know, um, well, yeah, man. I think we're all happy for you. We can go down. You know, uh, Vanessa Kitty says thank you for being there for us, Hank. Um, thank you, man. Yeah, I carry my revolver in single action. Says laugh out loud in Yankee giveaways. We always give the winner a hard time. Absolutely, go ahead, give him a hard time. He says he's gonna kill some hogs with it, there, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, just uh, Yak Yacker ninety four says. So if I ever meet you, are you down for a hug? Hell's yeah, absolutely. Um, the range one says, if you sell it, <laughs> hit me up for first three k bid for it right now. <laughs> oh dear. Jack says that he's going to hunt some hogs with it. So here's what needs to happen. Hank, send me that gun. And when Jax is taking me out hog hunting, then <laughs> that, that's what's going to no, happen. I'm sending him the gun. No, I'm sending it to, you go hang out with him. Uh, so you just have to let us know where you're at um, and what FFL and all that. Obviously, all this stuff is, you know, everything we do has to be legal. It's all straight up. It, yeah. You know, we're, we're going to send it to an FFL. And uh, we are an FFL. We're going to send it to an FFL. And, you know, you'll do your thing and then you'll get your hands on this. Hopefully we'll see you, you know, do some posts and things like that out there just to encourage other people out there. Let them know that we actually give stuff away for reals. You know, if I. Um, OK, he says, uh, I hunt Texas. Come join me, Katie. Uh -huh. So he hunts in Texas. So there you go. Hmm. Oh, that's, that reminds me. I've been in Texas in a few months. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. You should you should link up with him, man, and uh, do some yeah. stuff. I got to call Texas tomorrow. Yeah, TKO five nine three says glad to hear it's going to a good home. So are we? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. You know we're ha we're happy for that as well, man. I'd like to you know, obviously when we give it to you, you could do whatever you want with it, but I really hope you enjoy it. Um, it's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm gonna like actually miss it. <laughs> <laughs> when it goes, did you want to say anything, Lola? You yeah, want to come in here for a second? Took months. This is months. Okay, months, so come months. so come around this way. No, 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 I don't want that camera. You look fine. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, Lola's being shy today. She doesn't want to come on camera. You look fine. You should. You just come in and wait for a second. Come on. There's <laughs> everyone. Everyone me. wants to see you for one second. Just come in for one second and wave to the people. Let the people see Lola. Yeah. No one wants to see my ugly mug. Logo. By the way, there you see I'm representing for Brownells. Definitely thanks to Brownells, Jackson. I hope you go you go out there and you thank you know Brownells and WMD Guns and UM Tactical Stag Arms. Of course, you know they they were very impressed by the letter as well. By the way, uh, when they sent us that letter, they were very impressed by the fact that uh, are you checking yourself in the mirror and all that kind of stuff now? Just come on, let's go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Say hey, hi. Lola. Yeah. Howdy, Kevin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walt. Well, I just I saw Walt a couple yeah. of days ago. Congratulations. So. Say congratulations. Congratulations. JC Wagner. JC Wagner. Very happy Jackson for Oldman. you. Yep. Absolutely. You know, this has been like months. I think the first video when I went back and tried to track who all sent what and commented and shared, it took me all the way back to May. And I couldn't believe we've been doing this build for all these months it took so many people so many hands it went so many places yeah. parts Absolutely. had to be bought you know this this one here was a real you know um what do you want to call it pain in the oh. so it was afraid, a what a real a pain in the, oh, no, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah it was a you know it was a tough thing but i mean stag arms was really cool to to you know give us the opportunity right. by sending us the uh, the bones version of this to give away, mm -hmm. and then um, you know Brownells just was like, yeah, what parts do you need? Right. And they let me. They basically let me go through and make a wish list. Mm -hmm. What was that, Walter? I said the finish is pretty cool too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, when I actually met uh, the owner of WMD Guns, who he's been on here with us, 
you know, and I met him at the gun store at Big Daddy Guns, and he was like, yeah, man, we'll, you know, we'll do it. He was on here with us and all that kind of stuff. So, and yes, they did an excellent job. That's gorgeous. Yeah. It's a nice I hate to part yeah. with it. <laughs> no, but it's beautiful. I mean, you know, I was going to do a bunch of crazy finishes, and then I decided let me do something really nice. But this, this was a, this was like a good in between of that, where oh, yeah. you know, it's a night. It looks great, mm -hmm. you know, and at the same time, it's not like too over the top and all oh, yeah. that kind of stuff. That's and nice. of course, you know, can't forget UM Tactical. I mean, that's like. I believe this is something like 200 bucks for this. That's uh, the, the Rage, right? Yeah, for the yes. Rage on there, yeah. the Rage Compensator from UM Tactical mm -hmm. that you can tune. So very cool gun. We're going to ship it out to Jackson. You know, he says, thank you, Lola. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, everyone says how you're hardworking and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. Mm -hmm. The Range One gives you a kajillion thumbs ups. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Mike Bryant says, keep it lubricious. <laughs> All right, you can you you don't have oh, to. Oh, you, you didn't even to, mention that trigger. Yeah, I did mention the trigger. It's a two-stage gorgeous gold trigger. trigger. We've got several nice. videos on this for anyone who wants to go back. So there you go. We'll be shipping this out, and of course, Real Cujo uh, paid for you to get uh, a couple a couple bucks. of boxes of three hundred eight. <laughs> so, and he's in Texas, right? So we know it's all legal. Yeah, it's all good in Texas. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> There's really no, not that many restrictions there in Texas, so. Yeah. Heck, you got people commenting about your wife there, man. How you feel? Uh, what are they saying? I mean, saying I mean, very pleasant things. I always, oh. always love for Lola. Yeah, yeah. I'm I married up. I'm not <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm a lot of things, <laughs> but I'm not. You know, I'm not crazy. Well, all right. You put a you put a, a beautiful woman in a picture with a beautiful gun, and people lose their mind. Yeah, but you know, I mean, just realize that you know it's not easy to marry an African princess. You have to have some kind of skills. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You would love her. That's what it is. You would love her. <laughs> it takes some kind of skills to be able oh. to do that to pull that one off. So he lives in Texas, but he lives in Oklahoma. Oh, he lives in Oklahoma. Okay, there you go. Oh, so good. You're good there. Yeah, yeah. Oklahoma should be pretty good too. So um, he says his wife is mad that she didn't have a camera on him <laughs> when we announced it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe, you know, I didn't realize we could have done something like that. It would have been cool. But, hey, man, it happened here on air. We all got to enjoy it and enjoy your, uh, you know, yeah, your excitement and all that kind of stuff with you. So that is awesome. I like to say, you know what, one thing that makes that awesome for, for guys like that to win it is the fact that, you know, this shows the, the love and dedication because guys in a position to get things sent from companies could just hoard it all, you know, and never show people love. So that's mm -hmm. that's a big deal because there are some people out there that do that. They get all kind of cool things and they just hoard it. They never share, never give back to those that support them. So kudos to, to Hank and Brownells and WMD and everybody else that uh, contributed to that. Even Walter. Walter gives away a whole bunch of stuff, too. I think you got to congratulate companies and personalities that get out there and realize it's it's about the people and not about them so that that's yeah. congratulated so jacks that's going to be awesome for you to receive yeah absolutely you know that's everyone working together and like i said i mean i really mean it you know it would nothing would make me happier than to do this and be able to um give away lots of guns to folks out there who deserve it and all that kind of stuff you know so it is it is nice it is nice to be able to to be able to get things and all that you know the fringe benefits of what i do but it's nicer to be able to share it with people what was that walter i want to see that picture when he shoots that hog he's been kneeling down to with holding oh, that oh yeah that bloody hog head there yeah the trophy the trophy picture yeah 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 hog with the knife is just crazy who does that oh wait wait, wait a minute we're talking about willis <laughs> 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 gonna, Kevin wants to start that thing all over again. <laughs> no, you don't. You see that gun, that beautiful piece behind Hank that he's that he just gave away to Jack, sir. That's what you use to hunt hogs. Let me let me show you what I took one time to hunt a hog with, and it ended up in the ground on the ground. I had my dad's. I had my dad's double barrel shotgun. Double okay. barrel. <laughs> double barrel. All double right. Barrel. This is an Italian. Use the right nomenclature. I was carrying this. Oops! I was carrying this. <laughs> Don't break this down. hog, and the dogs caught it. And uh, my friend grabbed it by the hind legs, and I uh, subsequently uh, uh, terminated it. But I threw the gun. I threw the gun down on the ground. Didn't even have no gun. So, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. So wait, hold on a second. So what? Why did you throw the gun down? Because we had to do some knife work. 
Oh, okay. What, why did you have to do the knife work? Because you were in too close? Well, you don't want to shoot the dogs either, so. Oh, right, because the dogs were there. The yeah, dogs, see, it depends on how you go hunting. I don't yeah, know. The dogs are catching it, in the, like, in the neck and stuff like that, and there's all kinds of craziness going on and stuff, so you don't yeah. want to shoot your dogs. That's not a good thing. Yeah, so he says he's going to definitely tag us when he puts it up, and he also yeah. says, I ain't stupid. I don't want to be anywhere near those things when I shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it is a thing. Like, guys who go hunting with their dogs, I mean, that's a big concern. You don't want to shoot your dog, man. That's going to be like, oh, my gosh. That's a good thing. You yeah. don't want to shoot your buddies, and you don't definitely want to shoot your dog. So, yeah. yeah, the dogs are like family members. You probably yeah. rarely shoot your buddy yeah. if you had to make a choice. But, yeah, so that's why lots of – like, in Florida, man, guys really use – especially because where I live, guys hunt with dogs a lot. Yeah, they catch them with dogs, yeah. Yeah, so they go in and do the final thing. But, yeah. yes. It, it, how you do it. it gets really crazy when that's all going on in there. You don't want to be swinging guns around. And now, if, if you got a if you got a nice clean shot at it, you don't have to do that. Yeah, or if you're doing it out of a helicopter or something freaking awesome like that. Now, you know what? The funny thing is, helicopters aren't personal enough. <laughs> I need to be down there yanking at it, but I'm not. I'm not stabbing. Look, look, man. We don't know. <laughs> you don't, don't want to do. do you what we call an OG? Yeah, okay? he's not. Kevin's not special ops. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stabbing no hog. Look, man, I'm not fighting. I will, now, if I had to stab a human, if, if that's what it came down to, that's one thing, right? But something that is, you know, 200. Like, tusks like this? Yeah, with tusks like that stick and, and just crazy. And no, 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 no. Bite you and poke you. I will, I will shoot you. <laughs> okay. It's, it's what people used to tell me when I used to be get angry and I was much bigger than them. They would just calmly say, I will shoot you. And that's how I feel about hogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the range one says uh, Lola you guys did awesome be proud I got the chills I was so happy for Jackson the channel yeah awesome you know uh, he yep. says switching over to the computer so I can call people and watch at the same time <laughs> yeah so there you go that's cool uh, yeah, so you know Kentucky Firearms Network says great show, t great show tonight awesome channel good people uh, Will Killer Keller says, "Fast rope down and fly by night." Though, <laughs> oh my God, Dude, fly that's, by night. <laughs> that's like super ninja work. <laughs> that would be a great video, but I don't know who the hell could pull that off. We have to see if we can get um, one of the one of the superstar former seals or something to do that. <laughs> Slide, the, yeah, jump right on the yeah. hawk's back and stick him. Oh boy. You like Rambo. Even that Rambo in his first yeah. movie jumped Let me out. Let tell you something. If you ever watch the Game of Thrones, that's how the king winds up dying in the Game of Thrones, okay? Game of Thrones is brutal. Huh? Uh, the Game of yeah. Thrones is something else. No, yeah. I, I tell you, isn't, that, isn't that how the king dies? The king dies going on. I don't know. I'd rather you not ruin it. Oh, damn it. No, you know what I mean? Did, you, did you watch the Game of Thrones already? I have, like, four seasons ago. I got to catch up. Oh my God! I can't what is the matter with you? No, I don't get to keep up with it. I really don't. It's like that's the problem when you do have, and I I know everybody understands when you have limited time to watch TV, and you try to keep up on shows. As soon as you get ready to watch a show, they put on like seven more that draw you, right? And so you watch like three episodes of this one, then you get disinterested and you start watching a different one, right? So I did finish The Punisher. Now I have to find something else to get into. Oh, yeah. I don't watch any show unless I can help it. I mean, unless I cannot help it until they've done everything. And then I go in and watch it so I could, like, watch it while I'm editing and stuff like that. I just now got to Ballers. I haven't even seen that. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of boobies. Lots of TNA up in there. <laughs> Okay, okay. So <laughs> it's got that going for it. <laughs> Kevin O says you haven't lived till you've knifed a hog and gone noodle it. Noodle no. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, Walter, you've done the knife in the hog. Have you done the noodling thing? No, no, no. I never caught no fish on my bare hands. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. You know, that would be very brave on my part because you put your really hands in dirt in water that first of all you probably can't see all the way down in there. No. And you're gonna put your hands in there for a fish to come. <laughs> chomp on you i i don't know you know I, I yeah that's out of a bad b horror movie to me <laughs> but you know i mean I, listen i would try it once like you said you know yeah i mean you see these girls doing it so if a girl shows you up guess what right so what's the let's let's have this conversation what's the one silly animal or insect that you were petrified of The one anim one silly animal silly or insect that you are petrified of, like, nope, absolutely not. We'll not go anywhere near it. Well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go near a tiger in the woods, but... Uh, um, Dinosaurs. 
<laughs> I don't like any. <laughs> I don't, I don't like Tiger's pretty a uh, pretty pretty good, you know, one to stay away from. But uh, um, yeah, the obvious. No, so Kevin's saying like a weird animal. Oh, oh, well, I've 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 I've, I've dispatched water moccasins and rattlesnakes and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I don't like snakes. Mm -hmm. I don't like small things like lizards and stuff like that. I used to be fine with lizards, but no, I don't like. Uh, you know, I don't like anything that could sneak up on me. Don't like cats. <laughs> for that reason. <laughs> yeah. Anything right, that can see. I have I have dealt with some of the, the worst men in some of the darkest alleys in some of the yeah. worst situations ever. But I do not, and I repeat, I will chase anybody and fight anybody in the dark alley. You've done it before. I will not tangle with a raccoon. I don't like them. They don't like me. I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, you know, they're they're, they're fight. a lot of times that's something they have rabies. Yeah, but you always see. Yeah, you always see. Like I mean, I understand that, but you always see raccoons dead on the side of the road. So that makes them creepy right there. I see them in my backyard. Who kill raccoon ghosts or zombies? Yeah, yeah but the ra raccoons are horrible, man. Like they tried to jump my son one night. He was taking the trash out. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They tried to jump him. You know. Then they hissed at him. I didn't know them damn things could hit. Oh, he should have gone out. You should have sent him out there with the suppressed twenty-two. I've been yeah. popping those bad boys. Dispatch <laughs> their butts. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. You know, just tag him up with some twenty-twos. I said something about hurting raccoon. You know what? I mean, the, uh, I do like the raccoon in the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I see your point. You know, raccoons are creepy. But that's probably why people like that character from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of like a creepy kind of, you know, evil. Raccoons are evil. I think they were they were, they were animals that were born to be evil. Um, so Forge from Freedom gave us five bucks. He says, um, did you all see Game of Thrones inspired Freedom is Coming design I did a couple of days ago? If not, check it out on our Instagram. So there it goes. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to stop the reflection. Cyber Monday up. is coming. So, uh, yeah, it says um, Cyber Monday is coming. Basically, it has a bunch. It's made up of guns, if you can see that. So it's got a bunch of guns in it, but it's the um, oh, who cool. the wolves again? The um, what house is that? I forgot the name now. The uh, what's that? What the what's the name of the people that their house is the wolves? Yeah, that's the main characters in there. I forgot what this. Oh no, man. Oh crap! It's slipping my name now. So anyway, yeah, that's cool. I like the uh, Kev. I like, I like that. I like that design. It's pretty cool. What was that? Now I was looking at the chat here, and Kevin O says he got sprayed by a skunk. That must suck. Ooh, ooh, that. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, gorillas and guns says um, my wife didn't like that cat comment. You just made the cat comment. Oh, oh yeah, I do not like cats. Oh well, you can. I mean, it's like saying you remember when this cats are sneaky bastards. <laughs> what about kittens? Do you like kittens? No, nope. totally. little kitten. Nope. I'm like no kind of cats. I'm a they dog. Grew up, all they grew up to piss all over it. Never mind. I'm not gonna go in the cat. No, cats are always like trying to sneak up on you. My you my know? wife. When I met my wife, she had a cat, and this cat was a psycho. And you'd be walking along, just mind your own business, like in the apartment, and that thing would attack you. Yeah, it's stalking you. It, I gave that a cat. Tiger. A I gave that cat a couple flying lessons, <laughs> and it still didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, listen, cats at some point in, in the evolutionary cycle, if you will, you know, those things used to be tigers and saber-toothed tigers, whatever. They used to eat us. Well, they say that chickens used to be like they're related to Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, so. I don't know. Yeah, but chickens don't sneak up on you like cats. So, mm, uh, but listen, I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate cats. I don't hate no, cats. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any um, like vendetta against the, the yeah. felines, but, uh, and I, I don't want one in my house. Sorry. Yeah, And also like living here where I live in Florida, I think it's nice to have cats around your property because they kill all those moles and stuff like that, which are totally annoying. Really good for catching mice and stuff from rats. Yeah. But you know what, ha like we used to have a lot of wild cats out there, but then I had this, um, not my dog. I always, I've always had this dog I have now, but I had an American bulldog and she would kill everything that moves out there. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um, which was, you know, which is not a big deal, but oh, after she killed a couple of my neighbors, chihuahuas, <laughs> it was just a chew toy. Come on. Yeah. Well, my neighbors don't have fences and I have a fence and a gate and everything. And then they had a bunch of, they don't have 
if they have chihuahuas now, they don't let them out of the house anymore. <laughs> but they had a bunch of little chihuahuas, and those things would come and like crawl <laughs> under my gate and do all kinds of stuff. And my dog did; she did not understand that. <laughs> so yeah, she chomped a bunch of those things, and uh, so eventually I had to give her away because even though they don't have fences, the people would come and tell me that it was on me because, or it was on the dog because because the neighbor's dogs kept coming over there. So. Yeah. Yeah, I wound up having to give her away, but she was she was awesome, man. Yeah. You don't want to have a you don't want to you don't want to have imperial entanglements over that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, if you have dogs for crying out loud, you know, have fences. Yeah. yeah. No, Keep your dogs within your fences. That's true. That's so, true. you know, it's not not everyone does that. Okay. So, um Let's see, what do we... Here at the... Chris Bullis says cats equal the asshole of the animal kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, that's some cat hate there now. Um, cats kill snakes too. Oh, uh, yeah. Some do. Sometimes the snakes kill them. <laughs> but... 50-50. Yep, yep. Um, Chris B says, speaking of cats to all the Walking Dead fans, poor Shiva. I don't know who... Must have been a cat on the show, huh? Yeah. I stopped looking at the Walking Dead. Yeah, I don't do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And Kevin O says part of pet ownership is properly containing them for all, for all the public safety. Yeah, but not everyone believes that. So, yeah, yeah. So my my particular neighbors do not believe in having fences. Well, you're out in the country, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's you know their dogs still get out of the you know get out of hand, get out of pocket every now and then. So yeah, you know, how that goes. Get missiles. Yeah, okay, so what's going on with you, Kevin? We've been doing this for a while. I know you've been showing your revolver oh, today. Uh, you're, you're in a revolver mode. Is that an HK? I didn't know HK made a revolver. No, this is actually not an HK. They probably helped design it, though. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but, uh, doubt no, it. This, is a, this is just one of my favorites. This is, a, I don't know, this gun's about 15 years old now. It's a Smith & Wesson um, uh, 38 Special Plus P. I really just like I just really like this gun. It's not the 357 Magnum or anything like that, but stainless it's smooth. It is stainless. It's a smooth, well put together piece of it looks, shit. Yeah, it looks good, man. Let, yeah, me, lock, let to, me lock it on you first. You don't have to give them stainless guns a whole lot of care, really, and they keep 38 S and W Special Plus P. Yeah, yeah. I really like this guy. He's a he's a it's a good one just to have around. I always say you got to have you know at least one good wheel gun around. Wait, your guns are dudes? dudes this one is. <laughs> this one is. This is dude. All the sweetness, they you know they have to be different. Oh, so what is it? The revolver. The revolvers are dudes. Yeah, the revolvers are dudes. So with okay. the HKs, you're like Hildas or something? Or? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand this. All the revolvers are dudes, and it's in my girls. <laughs> the HKs are like Hilda, Helga, Olga. <laughs> I don't like them having names like that, and I can't tell you their secret names because they're special. Oh, okay. That's right. They're special names. Yeah. How about this one? What do we call this one? Big Bertha. <laughs> yeah. Big. Rasputia. That's Rasputia. Yeah, Rasputia. <laughs> That's so stupid. What is Rasputia? Isn't that from an Eddie Murphy movie? Norbit. Yeah, it's yeah, Norbit. Norbit. Rasputin? No, Rasputia. Have oh. you never seen Norbit? Uh, Probably not all of it, no. No? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. You can't stay awake in movies unless they involve tanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody out, out, of, out for out of gun control says, "Call it mine." Well, oh, he calls it mine. He calls it mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kentucky Firearms Networks. By the way, we're talking about cats. He said, "When I go to my mom's, if she's out of town, I literally have to throw a laundry basket over her cat. It tries to kill me." Oh yeah, I mean, some of his cats are psychos, man. I'm telling I you, I don't, I don't trust cats. I mean, there's dogs that are the same way that you don't. You, 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 as soon as you walk in the room, they're like eyeballing you, like they when I saw yeah. it gnawing on you, and it's like, well, I do you like, know? I, I don't like being in a, an environment where I got to worry about being attacked. Well, do you know that cats infect people? Yeah, they got cat scratch fever and all that. No, kind of... no, no, no. If cats have this virus that they oh, infect right. us with to make us like them, well, cats. I mean, get... that's if the, if nothing is the epitome of evil, that is the epitome of evilness. Right? That's just like freaking roofing you. you if you have a cat, it's roofing you. It's date raping you all the time. <laughs> You're roofing you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. It's funny because my my daughter wants a cat. I'm like, yeah. Um, one of my sons he likes cats. Her, it has to do something. <laughs> you know, 
You gotta be able to go do. You gotta you gotta play your part. Everybody's got a job. No, but cats do something. They kill stuff. They kill mice. Yeah, what, what? I don't have mice. So what? What else? If I get a field mouse or something that runs in every now and then, like I had a year, some years ago. Okay. Yeah. It took me like oh, a you month. don't. Yeah, you don't live in the country. I forgot. Well, I live. Well, actually, I kind of do. Oh. Okay. I don't live in the country, but I live in farm old farmland, and it's still a lot of farms not too far from me. So we get a ton of field mice. Right. But, yeah. Yeah. They don't. They don't come in here a lot. So what? What is a cat gonna do? I, I, yeah. A yeah. dog, you know, you get the right kind of dog. He can go get the mail for you, you know. You know, <laughs> he can guard your house. No, my dog right. just, my dog just eats the mail. I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, nah, man, you got to train right. You know, go get you a cold one out the refrigerator. You know, I saw the commercial where the dog did it. So if that dog can do it, any dog can do it. Uh, what, what, that's what? called a commercial, like a commercial, because that's not. Hey, I'm just saying, it looks like they can do something. Yeah. Right. When, when I was at Hanks, when I was at Hanks on Saturday, Hanks dog, he comes up and he sits like <laughs> on my feet, like, okay, I like you. I, I like you. Yeah. yeah uh, my dog's racist. <laughs> let's just let's just put it out there. He's just straight racist. <laughs> and he loves this white boy. So yeah. I don't know what the <laughs> That's just pure racism. He's like, damn, can't you save me, Walter? Thank you, wait. Save me from the black man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Will Killer Keller says toxoplasmosis. That's yeah. what those some bitches cats do to you. Plus, they have a, the cats have their own version of AIDS too, actually. So, <laughs> bastards! What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Feline AIDS. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but that doesn't cross uh, species. Well, as, long as, you, as long as you don't like, uh, you know. But plus, you know. Well, anyways, we'll go in that now. So yeah. that's Gorillas and Gun says he has three cats, two dogs, two snakes, and four guinea pigs, and no gorillas. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> yeah, but no gorillas. Like you oh, should be cats and dogs and snakes and guinea pigs and guns, huh? And he has a bearded dragon. Bearded dragon. He added that. And a bearded dragon. What is that? Some kind of like sexual uh, reference? No, it's a real thing. Oh, is that a that's a lizard? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lizard. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I know you. I know it's not a beard. Don't get envy. Don't get envy. No, no. No, I thought a bearded no, dragon was like some kind of. Huh? Can you, can you grow a beard on that little face. Can you grow a beard there? <laughs> or is that optional? I'm just trying to, you know. What you? are you trying to say? <laughs> don't you see my beard? Right, look, right there is the beard. You don't see it? Yeah, it looks like somebody ran out of marker when they were drawing it on. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Hank, you remember what we talked about? Oh, oh penciling it in. <laughs> No, you still spoil it now. Come on now. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Walter, you're you're clean shaven by choice, right? Yeah, I mean, I if I let it go, it'd come out and it'd be like kind of brownish red, and yeah, it just bugs the shit out of me though. That's so, you know, so that's uh, just me though. You know, Real Cujo says he has a 132 pound Great Dane, which I've seen. That's 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 an animal. Yeah, that's his service dog. And that's an animal. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, um, shut up and play your guitar. Says my wife loves my bearded dragon. All these dudes have bearded dragons. What the hell? <laughs> oh dear! I'm pretty sure this is some kind of sexual reference. I think <laughs> they're pulling. They pulled the trying to pull a trick on us. <laughs> so, we don't want the channel to get demonetized, so you know. Yeah, Hank. Uh, Chris B says Hank is facial follically challenged. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's uh yeah, I can't grow a beard, which is weird. My brother, my brother Anonymous actually gets pretty grizzly. But I'm I can't grow one. My dad too. My dad um you know, he he can he gets a big beard and all that stuff, but I can't do it. I think you've got the Indian part of it. Um yeah, but you know, there's some Indian people that have like serious beards, but yeah, I didn't get that. Maybe that's the ones that look toward uh Toward Bangladesh. And yeah, like yeah. I didn't get whatever. In, well, yeah, my mom's not just Indian. She's a whole bunch of different things we found out from her genetic test. So, oh, by got, the way, today was the last day. She's got your, Middle Eastern. What? Today, uh, the I think the last day, the, the genetic um, people were offering a $59 deal on the test. Oh, yes. Um, we, we got, I think we got, we got two kits. But you know what? Right now, Amazon has an even better deal than uh, Ancestry, by the way. I think it expires tonight. Cheaper than 59 Well, the thing is, is that Ancestry.com, it's 59 but you pay for shipping. Amazon, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get free shipping. Oh, okay. So we, we got two kits, one for either one of my sons. I'm going to test them, make sure that Lola didn't, like, give oh, me a, dear. Oh, dear. didn't give me jackets. I don't know if you know what that means. 
jackets. That's like a Jamaican. I that's can like hear a happen back there. So. Yeah, that's like a Jamaican slang thing for when a chick gives you like somebody else's baby. Ah, and says that's your baby. So we're gonna genetically test them. Not for that reason. I can tell from their big massive noggins <laughs> that they're related to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna do opt out of gun control. Says that shit is big, bro. What, what am I getting? What am I getting? So, uh, no. Sweets from my sweetie. Look at what that. What you get? I got some chocolate thingies. Oh, there you go. Mm. Spoiling you. Make sure that you got the. Oh, um, shut up and play your guitar. Says screw Amazon. He's not getting any Amazon stuff. Okay, I understand that. All right. So we've been doing this for like two hours. You guys ready to wrap this? Sure. Yeah, I just want to point out when he said that he put the 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 basket over the cat. This is on Facebook. He wasn't playing. He just tagged us in it. So there's the cat. <laughs> Wait a second. And there's a chair. There's a chair. <laughs> and another basket. <laughs> that must be a beast. Damn. Oh, <laughs> That's um, like the cat from uh, what's that movie where they inherit a house from their father and then they tear up the whole damn house. Oh, what is that movie? There's like a mouse or something. Uh, is it? Is it Mouse Hunt or something? Do you know what movie I'm talking about? There's this comedy movie where these two brothers inherit this house and there's a mouse in there that they try to kill. Um, and they bring in this guy that comes in with a killer cat. Ah, I forgot the name of that movie. Someone will tell me the name of that movie before. Uh, Kentucky Firearm says, hashtag evil fucking cat. <laughs> That has to be an evil cat to do all of that. My, my next post will include that, by the way. <laughs> what well, it will include? The, Once will, we get out of here, don't don't nobody leave before we leave, though. But um, Tyvin's on right now. You go check out his channel, watch him play GTA and stuff. So, um, oh okay, yeah. It's, oh, Tyvin's thing started. Yeah, he's up there okay. doing this thing. Yeah. I don't play GTA, but I just go over to watch him play in, in the commentary and all that stuff. Oh, Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt. That's the name of the movie. Mouse Hunt. Yeah. So there you go. Um, and then uh, what someone was saying, uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Screaming Skull Saloon says they sell your DNA info to insurance companies. Uh, it's a CIA wet dream to have DNA, DNA profile on everyone. Okay. You know, they already, what makes you, first of all, what makes you think they don't? But I, I understand where you're coming from. I'm not going to knock anyone from being paranoid. So there's lots of info on me. I immigrated to this country, so they have lots of. They have a retinal scan of me. <laughs> Believe it or not, that Maybe. stuff. That's huh? We've got right. one up on me. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, when I did mine, they they registered my retinal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey. yeah. So I used to have a top secret <laughs> clearance. I know who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Uh, Jackson Ullman says, still freaking out, by the way. <laughs> there you go. This awesomeness is coming at you, my friend. Oh, yeah. The awesomeness is coming for you. It's coming. Yeah. There you go. I can't wait to see you, like, actually get this and, like, see what optics you put on there. And whenever you post stuff, make sure you tag all the companies involved in this. Yeah. You know, it's pretty awesome. So, um no, he should bring that. I know he's going to uh, Jax. I'm pretty sure you're going to um, NRA Dallas here in about five months. You know, it'd be cool. You come down there. I'm pretty sure Stag will be there. Take a picture in front of the booth and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Go visit. If you're going to be um, at at the NRA, we should all hang out and you should visit all the companies involved in this. He's just a few hours north. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, David Hines says he thinks the movie's called Mousetrap. I don't know. It's one of those. We can look it up. Someone can IMDB it and um, and then verify what that movie is. But it's a funny as hell movie. I watch that like probably once a year, wow. just for a good old laugh. If if any if you haven't seen it out there, it's a good movie. So these are uh, two these are these are two brothers in the house. Yeah, these are two brothers, and they don't get along. And I think their father had like a yarn factory or something. Mm. And um, so he dies, and he leaves them this house, and they fight over the house. No. Two, I mean, I say brothers, two black brothers or, or no, no, no. These are, um, yeah, it's, uh, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to IMDB this right now. Cause it's yeah. some, it's some pretty funny comedians in the, in this movie. So let me see. I'm going to go through it. Um, it's, it's, Rob, uh, it's mouse hunt. Lola found the thing for it, but I'm going to IMDB it right now. It's not like a Rob Schneider movie, is it? 
No. Uh, let me see. I'm going to tell you who's in it. Um, okay, hold on. Mouse. There's so many things named Mouse. Okay. So Mouse Hunt has Nathan Lane. Oh. <laughs> it has Nathan Lane and Lee Evans. Those are the two brothers. So uh, I think Lee Evans, a British actor, he was in Fifth Element. Nathan Lane, he's a, he guy, a lot of times he plays, uh, though he's not, I think he plays gay guys a lot of times. Uh, yeah, he's incredibly funny. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love Nathan, Nathan Lane. He cracks me up all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's a really good movie, Mouse Hunt. To me, one of the best movies ever. Ever. If you, if you watch that movie and you don't bust a gut laughing, you are not classified as a human being. <laughs> oh. Even Will Killer Keller says it's pretty good slapstick, Walter. Okay, I'll take it. I'll, yeah. I, I got you both you guys on both sides of me now hitting me. So Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. Have you ever seen it, Kevin? Yes, it is a yeah. good movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. So there you go. You're going to enjoy it. I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay, don't yeah. do that. Lots of good, lots of lots of good stuff in there. So, um, okay, all right. So let's wrap this up, uh, Kevin. Uh, what's your final things you want to say here, my friend? All right. Uh, as always, please uh, go follow me on YouTube at NOC Firearms Channel. Uh, I ask that you follow me on uh, Facebook, Two Sites. That's NOC Firearms Training, and also Kevin Dixie. On Instagram is at NOC Firearms Training. For those of you who want to help out missions like Aiming for the Truth and give back to families and empowering the Second Amendment and education, you can go right over to Patreon backslash NOC Firearms to donate to that movement. Uh, I want to thank a, a few uh, people that make it possible for me to be able to come out and do things, uh, one being Proper. I want to thank Proper for everything that they do, Proper Gear. Um, I want to thank um, Lucid, uh, Hank's favorite people in the world, HK. I want to thank them. Uh, I want to thank. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 you know, we're yeah. breaking down the HK hate a little bit. Yeah, I know. It's coming down. Yeah, yeah, it's coming down. Yeah, it's coming uh, down. Yeah. And um, many other breakthrough clean. Thank you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, many more. The Rain St. Louis West. Just thank everybody. Um, as far as as far as far events coming up, uh, I would like to say that this Saturday, yeah, this Saturday, I will be in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, Mr. Mike Bryant that's normally in the chats has uh, set this up. I will be stopping by Springs Armory and uh, shaking hands and kissing babies um, and just talking gun stuff with the community there for a while. So I'll be doing that this Saturday, uh, maybe swinging by Dragonland in Colorado, the guy with the most, the largest collection of guns. Oh, yeah. or oh that's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Swinging by there for a second. And um, uh, as far as events after that, uh, not much, just some local training stuff. And I'm really, I'm really trying to sit down, gear up, get social media. Oh, I can say this. Uh, we are, I am going to be um, having a happy expansion. So I'm expanding somebody to help me manage social medias and things. Sweet. So uh, we can keep that stuff up because I want to get ready to actually put out some videos and get ready for a shot show and starting up the next year. So that's all I got coming up for right now. Yeah. Um, Kentucky Firearm says shaking babies and kissing hands. <laughs> He was being facetious. <laughs> I can't shake the babies. <laughs> I love the babies. <laughs> Why not go touch the baby? How much for the children? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, Walter, so what do you have going on, my friend? Um, well, let's see here. We are getting ready for, uh, we're working towards SHOT Show coming up here. Get some new stuff together. Now that the holidays are over, hopefully uh, we'll get some more stuff out. Um, Facebook, Instagram, check that out. You want to check out the YouTube channel, Safety Arbor Firearms. Also, there's um, Mower Death, which is my, some of my old stuff on there, but it's funny to watch. Yeah. I'm on shooting a running lawnmower. Uh, some people had problems with that when I did it. It's funny to read the comments. Um, yeah. You should uh, definitely check out Walter's Instagram channel, which is Safety Harbor yep. Firearms. And I, I post that stuff during the day, so whenever I do something or I'm – you know, so I think something's interesting. I'm always I try to post stuff. Well, you have a very good Instagram. Your your stuff is nice. You like it? Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just stuff that's going on around the shop. Like when I posted a picture of the of the ammo today. I trained him well. I trained him well. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've got good uh, I got good <laughs> tutelage going on here. You know, I got I got somebody that tells me what I should be doing, and I tell him what he can do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly that's how it goes. <laughs> no, he I'm tells not, me I'm where not. I could go, what bridge to go jump off. I did put up, uh, and Walter has it on his channel. There's a video of him shooting that obnoxious IO AK that he has. Oh yeah, I think the last video, the last photo you guys put up, where you actually caught that big fireball, where like Ooh. engulfed almost the whole camera. Yeah, that was cool. 
Yeah, yeah. there's and there's more too because Lola was taking video at the same time. So yeah, it's insane. Those yeah. that gun is annoying. <laughs> so um, <laughs> but, but Walter's yeah, yeah. testing it for everyone. He's we all are suffering so that Walter could tell you yeah. how this gun is going to bear. Sometimes yeah. we have to um, endure my me. So, anyways. So yeah, and Facebook, Instagram, that check that stuff out. Um, like I said, we're getting ready for Shot Show, working on some new stuff. Um, trying to think here, what else? Uh, like I said, we got the CZ stock at one ninety nine. That's introductory special. Um, yeah, what's going on? So there you go. Okay, cool. Thanks. And uh, Gorillas and Guns says, if you guys are feeling charitable, check out GoFundMe slash Help Cousin Alex through Chemo. So. Um, um, somebody's asking me what my Instagram name is. It is, that's a good question. I think it's just Safety, safety Harbor safety, Firearms. Safety Harbor Firearms, yep, correct. Yeah, yeah. Safety Harbor. <laughs> on Twitter, I'm SHF Walt. Also, yeah. if you go on Safety Harbor Firearms, you'll find it there too. So Yeah. Oh, um, you know what? One last thing, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, the cancer sure. thing, A, definitely pay attention to that. And the chemo thing. And two, uh, mark your calendars for December the 12th. December the 12th, you will see me on uh, the Noir show, and it will be bringing you live the Aiming for the Truth event of what we do. Sweet. Awesome. That's cool. Nice to see you on. You've got, a, um, from what I've heard, you've got a nice feature on Call of Noir, right? It's like you're, you're up there for a while. You're in a few segments or something? Or? Uh, yeah. The, the, way it's, uh, the way it should be going, I believe I'll be on there twice this season. I believe. I know once for sure. I believe twice this season, but... Okay. Uh, it should be uh, reoccurring on that show for a few seasons to come, at least. So it's nice, okay. man. I like good, no, great people, awesome. great show. It yeah, was to do, you know. So it'll be, yeah. it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Well, that be that'll be up on the inter internet after it comes uh, after it's on. Yeah, show. it should be coming out December twelfth on the on the internets of things. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Very good, Walter. Did you have any last words here? Okay, so um, Jackson Oldman once says, thanks, Hank, Kevin, Walter, Lola, for another great show. Probably my favorite one yet. No kidding. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for the congratulations. Can't wait to put her to use. So there we go. Yes, um, yeah, thanks to everyone for hanging out with us and participating in the giveaway. Thanks to Stag Arms for the, you know, for the for Stag 10 Bones. Of course, Brownells, WMD Guns, uh, UM Tactical. For everyone that was involved in this, we really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an awesome thing to do. I'd like to thank everyone that supports us. If you continue to support us, we'll be able to do more stuff like this. Uh, we're a Patreon slash Hank Strange. Of course, you know, we're sponsored by guys like Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms, um, as well as Rand CLP, um, Andrew's Custom Leather, and of course, Big Daddy Guns right there. Big Daddy. You know, Big Daddy Guns helped us work out, work out some of the things here. We wouldn't have met the WMD Guns guy without the Big Daddy Guns guys. So there you go. That was well appreciated. Okay, guys, we're out of here. I'm going to hit the button and then show you one last time this awesome 